I want to see my lawyer. <laughs> Romancing flat. This is oh, the, the this is. Uh, <laughs> it's Twitch approved. I don't like this. I still, I don't like it. I know that! You told me! That doesn't make it better! Uh, it's like, I, I, I walk up to Dr. Bright. Hey, Bright, I'm going to shoot you in the knee. And then I shoot Bright in the knee. Bright complains, and I say, I warned you first. I don't want there to be voice acting. I don't want to know what these things sound like. Wood. Yes. Oh. Oh. How do you know you're in Russian prison? This guy has a, uh, um, an uncanny resemblance to a different, uh, 1940s politician. <laughs> Wait, shouldn't I be voicing him if we're still asleep? Okay, this is a hundred percent Germany. A year after the war. Okay, so the yeah, nineteen forty-six. That's uh, the war ended in nineteen forty-five. Very... Oh dear god. This will go I can't do a German accent. <laughs> <laughs> Oh yeah, I love to talk to them about the Wunderbar. <laughs> um, I forgot to ask, how long is stream gonna go tonight? <laughs> okay. Cause, uh... I was just wondering because I might want to go off to do something for my mom because it's her birthday at some point, but we'll see. Anyway, how can how can I do a German? I, 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 this hurts. Hello, yes, I am German Russian man, name Albert. Oh yes. Oh yes. Name 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 El Alberto because Germany. That's my Italian. I don't know. Wait. Okay. Like, I think the only way I can do a German accent is by yelling. Like. Nine, nine, nine. That's a lie. Correction of it. I said a lie. Correction of Institute. <laughs> no, 
no. Let's just let's move on. He's all yours, sir. you oh. oh, I don't know. Okay, that's that's your inner voice. Okay. No, there there would be a speech bubble. I think that. Why would he say you're relieved? Welcome to my office. You're relieved. Oh, wait, that is him. God damn it. I didn't read all of it. All I saw was you're relieved, and I assumed that it was your character, like the game narrating what your character was thinking. Link, you'll slip. Why does this guy look like Nixon from the back? Are we talking to Nixon? Bald Nixon. Uh, uh, okay, how, how do I want to do his voice? I... I don't know what Jeff Bezos sounds like. Do you think I ever listened to the man? Do you think that I am, like, such a masochist that I want to cause my ears to bleed? No. I've tra- <laughs> Okay, yeah, that's gonna be his voice. I've transformed Del Isle Correctional Institute from a dingy court jail to one of the top facilities in the country. Did you know that? I didn't do that just by imprisoning small-time crooks, murderers, and thieves. No, sir. Over the years, I have curated a very specific type of prisoner. <laughs> Deviant. What is the... Why, why the way that he's looking? <laughs> why I had this is... I don't like this. I don't like him. He has, like, he has proper sex pest vibes. Look at that face. Why Maybe. was my mic muted? I mean, I heard you. No, and Twitch. Oh, for shit. Are you kidding me? Oh, and I just realized... Yeah, cause I'm not gonna be able to tell where everything is, so I'm just gonna turn off chat box. So, this entire time, you've been completely silent. Apparently. Good, good job. Good. Very. What? Round of applause. It wasn't muted when I opened stream last. Why did it sound like going to gameplay when it being muted? Did you like change? Like, did did you need to change it from like the state that it was in when you're like getting ready to stream? Page. Maybe I don't know. But anyway, let's continue. That might be it. God damn it! They're not like you or me. <laughs> Are you sure about that? <laughs> I just... <laughs> Zickos. Herberts. Communists. <laughs> like I said, Hatchet, he would really like you. <laughs> Whatever you want to call them, they can't be rehabilitated because they're barely human to begin... Oh, God, I... Oh, dear God. Can we kill this guy? <laughs> Just don't tell him about hentai sites. <laughs> Can we... This guy's literally saying that anyone who subscribes to a single political uh, affiliation are subhuman. <laughs> and the strangest part is, 
you'd think every part of their brain is broken, but they can still feel shame. A father of three will try to shoot you dead if you kill me. Oh. A father of three will try to shoot you dead if you accuse him of putting on dresses and having sex with bellboys. <laughs> what the fuck? What does that even mean? I think what? He... This guy needs to take a chill pill. <laughs> yeah. What's, what point is he even trying to say? I mean, you say if a father of three put on a dress and had sex with men, and you try to accuse him of doing that. <laughs> he would kill you. Oh. A well-to-do woman would stick her head in the oven before she... Oh, I just it. read ahead. Oh, boy. Before she'd admit to a dalliance with the... Uh, uh, yeah, that's what I said. Oh boy, too. I don't. I don't feel like reading that last bit. I, I'll I, assume I, that it. Yeah. I'll assume everyone can read. Yeah, that, that that's fair. <laughs> I did not think that would be in this game. This 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 guy is like getting worse and worse. Yes, he is. Oh, his face. Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! It gets even worse. Catch it, it gets even worse. Ah, and hell, even my own mother was a goddamn subject. <laughs> I really want to shoot this guy. <laughs> He's a massive piece of shit. I mean, look at his face. <laughs> Wait, that's what I was thinking. This is Wario. This is hyper realistic <laughs> Wario. Look at his face. Am I wrong? <laughs> And hell, even my own mother was a damn suffragette. But me, your dad, would have beat the spot out of her if we found that out before she croaked on us. Jesus Christ! Can we... I... There's... I... I want to kill this man. <laughs> this is... Aw this is awful. It's a different thing to get confessions from these freaks. Or it's a difficult thing. Yeah. Now normally when a district attorney needs a bit more time to build a case against one of these deviants, they'll rush them through the courts on some trumped up charge, keep them in prison for a while, and hopefully buy enough time to build a case. But if they can't, Delhi's Correctional Institute will get a confession for them. Wait, hold on. Are the things that he considers deviants gonna be the flesh monsters? Oh, what the fuck? This is this is wrong. Please don't be that way, please. All that I knew is this is gonna be a horror visual novel about dating flesh. I did not expect uh. this. I don't I don't like the world that I don't like the world that's being built up. Yeah. I don't like this. I think this is supposed purpose. to be based off World War Two era era or whatever. Well yeah, that much <laughs> No shit, it's based off World War Two era thinking. It, it it started it started by saying that it takes place in forty six. So I'm I'm very prepared for it to get messed. Oh no! Please don't tell me it says something about Jew people in here. Oh, oh please don't. How? Yeah, that's that's the real question. Given his sentiments, how how many how many lines of dialogue until he starts talking about the Jewish question? <laughs> oh God! <laughs> or starts rambling about Jewish Bolshevism. Everybody oh, take your bets. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. <laughs> no, let's not bet on that. This is awful. Everything mm. about this is awful. I hope he dies. Same. Anyway. We've read the works of Freud, Morneau, and Watson. 
Are those like psychologists or something like that? I believe those are all early, uh, early psychologists. All three of which I'm willing to bet. I know Freud for sure, but I'm willing to guess all three of these guys are no longer considered credible within modern psychology. Oh. oh I know no. Freud for sure, but they were still held up as uh, having the correct opinion at the time. Wow. And he believes in them. <laughs> well, yes. Why wouldn't he? Have you seen this man's face? <laughs> Rep oh, Jesus Christ. Why did you have to put it like that, dude? We're going to be dating flesh monsters. Why did you have to say reproduced? I don't know. Reproduced the experiments of Pavlov and Skinner. This is getting worse and worse. And consulted with Weatherman, Miller, and Young. I have... Young? I don't know. I don't know any of that. Yeah. And we've distilled them all into effective methodology that loosens the prisoners' tongues while leaving them free of the phys but physical cuts and bruises that don't play well to judges and juries. Dehuman... Dehumane-like. Or real humane-like. Oh, God, God damn it, not his face. <laughs> but listen to me ramble on. The reason I brought you in here is because your cellmate, Mr. Charles Kenning, is one of these deviants. We've tried our best to build a psychological profile on him, find a proper plan of attack, but Mr. Kenning managed to run out the clock on us. Mr. Ketting will have served his sentence as of midnight tonight. Wait, are we gonna be... Are these flesh monsters actually the... Actually are probably gonna be the deviants and we're probably gonna have to sentence them to prison. <laughs> That's probably why we're dating them. Oh no. This is awful. Well, I didn't think this was gonna be the game. <laughs> and what's worse is, is this is approved by Twitch. Well, I mean... Which, like, that's the thing, like, it's fine with, like, it's fine if this is meant to be critical of these actions, and Twitch can obviously choose to, yeah, like, non-problematically support and approve games that are critical of this sort of thing. So we'll just have to keep in mind. Like, yeah. I, my reactions are mostly based on being uncomfortable by the world that's being set up. It's it's still a fictional world. It's just bleh. Yeah. Unless we get a confession in the next few hours. Oh, god damn it. That confirms it. <laughs> I want you to read these documents from the U.S. Attorney's Office. Oh, maybe this is in America. If you believe any, actually, yeah, that makes more sense. I, I, I'd be willing to guess that if someone was put in charge of a prison in, like, uh, West Germany, after, uh, the end of the war, they would have probably been more progressive than this fucker. So it kind of makes sense. Yeah. If you believe anything in these documents, can be. If you believe anything. And these documents can be used to get a confession out of Mr. Keating. We need to know. Oh no. It'll turn if you merely read these documents. If you don't find anything, we'll consider your sentence served. I highly doubt it. What does that okay? I know. It sounds too good to be true. Anything you can tell us might be the key to keeping this monster behind bars. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh. 
He doesn't fit into our world. That's just bad. He Jesus be Christ! Oh, God. Uh, he belongs with me. Drag an object to move it, click to view. Oh, whoops. That's wrong. Okay, I see a car. That's, that's, that's a bus. Some kind of long automobile. These are plants? <laughs> yeah, drawings of plants. Very, very nice. A house. A, a, lo a lovely little home. What does the note say? Okay, what what voice do we give Keeney? <laughs> you know what? Might as well play into it. Dearest mother. <laughs> oh my god. Dearest mother. This bus trip is a bit longer and more uncomfortable than I was expecting. But I should be an L. Okay, yeah, this isn't. I should be an L. Oh, don't go to Alabama. Why am I going to Alabama? <laughs> <laughs> Within a few days, I've called Mr. Petrov's office and he assures me his facility is a few hours outside of whatever the fuck that town is. So I'm not as far from civilization as I feared. I may have to forego the nightly edition of the paper, but we all must make deep sacrifices in times of war. Wait, who's Petra? Do you know? I mean, my my brain just died. Oh. Um. I, uh, I, I think that that's just an inserted name. I don't, I don't know of any historical figure with that name uh, that that would be referring to. Please remind Father that Dr. Petrov's work is being funded by the U.S. Army, and although I won't exactly be one of the tough SLBs marching into Hiritos, into here. Hirohito's palace, I'll be an active contributor to the war effort. Besides, I hear if I were a service member, the letters I send you would look like Swiss cheese, and they don't want to it My mother is lactose intolerant. <laughs> Oh, I see lactose intolerance. No one. I hope this letter finds you in better spirits than when I left, and in worse spirits than when I am there. Wait, what? I don't. Uh, you're loving some, Charles. I don't. I hope this letter finds you in better spirits than when I left, and in worse spirits than when I'm there. Okay, so in other words, he's saying he hopes that she's not happy when he's not around. <laughs> okay. Actually, there is a Dr. Alexander Petrov, who's a professor in Ohio for psychology. Wait, like when, when was that guy active? Uh, he's apparently in his high 70s right now, so he would have been too young. He would be a bait. I believe he would be a baby boomer. Yeah, the only other Petrov is uh, a Russia, Russian uh, figure skater. From the Soviet Union. Hey, fair. Let's just <laughs> let's just move on. I think that that was just a canned name. Yeah. I that... don't know why we're fixating on it. <laughs> I, I was just curious to see if we didn't actually know who that person was. Wait, now I'm just imagining him that he's just going to go see a figure skater. <laughs> why would? 
would be why would the Soviet Union figures Vader be in fucking Alabama right? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> oh. This cool. might be a force acting. The cool thing. They just baby like twelve. Oh wait, I probably have to like, click. Like oh wait, never <laughs> mind. Oh my gosh, it's animated. Oh dear Christ. He's very jiggly. <laughs> Hello? It's Jeff Bezos. Stop! No, that is not Jeff Bezos. <laughs> oh dear bitch. god! <laughs> oh, it's... Okay. His face. Fucking clip art. Animation. Dr. Petrov! I'm sorry for the call. The bus trip is taking a bit longer than I was expecting. But well, I should be there in just a couple more minutes. Uh, no days, no minutes. Those are long. That is fine. I still get up the lab. Most of my supply shipments will be arriving late. Well. Yeah. Also, when it comes to, like, uh... When we actually do face monsters, I think I should be the one voicing them. I don't like that. I mean, it's most of it is I have experience voicing monsters. I know. <laughs> yeah. Still... Anyway. Mm -hmm. You should be in doubt just if you Oh! You should be in town just in time to help me get everything up and running. I don't... I'm, I'm changing... I'm trying to decide on what voice I want Dr. Petrov to have. <laughs> Wait, I'm kind of making him sound like Nixon now. <laughs> yeah, you're, you're, when you talk like that, because I just watched Futurama recently, you're making me think of Nixon. You should be in town. <laughs> you should be in town just in time to help me get everything up and ready. <laughs> Goddamn liberals. Oh my god. I don't like that. Oh, we got, oh what the? Why? <laughs> Is there nothing inside of his mouth? It's just a void. He is void. That's the, that's the sound that's coming out of his mouth. <laughs> yeah, he's just having an extremely weird yawn session. Yeah. Oh, God. Is there anything I should brush up on before I get to the lab? I managed to grab a decent selection of medical journals when I was in Boston. Stop, stop, just, just stop wiggling like that. Stop that. Plant cellular structure. <laughs> Wait, hold on. 610 is from, it's basically a plant like creature thing. No, it's not. Well, it turned into a fungus infection, remember? Funguses are different from plants. They are? Yes. Oh, never mind. <laughs> let me let me go let me go check. Are fungus plants? Today we know that fungi are not plants. But the botanical history of fungi provides an interesting perspective on our scientific bias biases as how we classify organisms and how they impact our collective knowledge. Is fungi considered a plant or animal? Mushrooms are fungi, yes I know that. They belong in a kingdom of their own, separate from plants and animals. But they're neither. <laughs> yeah, they are neither plants nor animals. Wait then, what the they're... hell would 610B classified as? Because it they they uh, switch out from fu fungal infection to like meaty abominations. Well, there's still a fungus. A, a meaty fungus. <laughs> okay, that's a problem. It's a fungus that's attached to a human body. It seems entire like, like well, one we're trying to apply real world logic to anomalies, but. Yeah. Like, they're attached to human bodies. 
Mm-hmm. They have flesh to pull from. And the fungus may just be in a shape or form that looks like meat. Yeah. Anyway. What cellular structure? Look at his computer space. What cellular structure? Oh wait, I forgot. <laughs> I, I was still looking at the. I died. was looking. At, I was I was looking at the live stream. <laughs> Good job. Bitch. What? The nature of the work we'll be doing is a bit cross-disciplinary. Oh no. Cross-disciplinary, yes. I trust your medical knowledge is up to date, but I need to make sure you press up on some of the braces of botany. I suppose I could visit the bookstore while we're at a stop. A newsstand should have some pe pre 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 periodicals. You good? My brain no work well when I'm out. Wait, his mouth is finally moving. His mouth moves a little bit, like Albert does. It makes little wiggles. Let's move on. <laughs> no, they don't have that. Doing these voices. I don't know what it is, but doing voices for your streams just drastically reduce my brain's capacity. <laughs> <laughs> No need for the latest journals, Mr. Keating. Uh. I'm yawning. Uh. Uh. Okay. You don't need to know the latest scientific learnings, but you should be able to write and Oh my god, I should have. Oh, I should have fucking made that piece of shit guy Nixon. That would have been so perfect. <laughs> I got you in the middle of talking and then you have a revelation. <laughs> I just imagine him saying that like they would write. I should have made that guy his voice Nixon. <laughs> Yeah, they're thinking Keening on the other end is like, who the fuck is Nixon? <laughs> is that guy even born yet? <laughs> Actually, he probably was. I think he's Sam. Yeah. Whatever. Oh. You don't, you don't need to know the latest scientific learnings, but you should be able to write an illustrated grade school textbook on basic plant bi biology with your eyes closed before you get here. I'll... I'll make sure to still be hard on the trip over. Oh, I don't like his eyes. <laughs> Good luck. You know, like, what I'm doing... Ju just like with my... Just like with Albert voice, with Nixon voice, sometimes I'm just gonna devolve into making gargled sounds and then that's going to be the line that's it <laughs> so in, in other words instead of good line all he's actually saying is da, 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 da. <laughs> <laughs> good thing i don't have to add subtitles <laughs> da, 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 da. <laughs> choking on the he's choking on his own voice <laughs> and uh if you could bring a tin of real coffee I'd I'll, 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 is, is that I'd that is I'd the apostrophe mixes with the with the D and makes it almost look like a weird H the I is fucking the D <laughs> no the apostrophe get it right <laughs> I'd appreciate it. We're down to the stuff cut with... <laughs> what the fuck is that? What the fuck is that? Chicory? Chicory. Chicory. I've never heard of chicory down here. 
No, what is chicory? I don't care. I'll delete my best, sir. See you in a few days. Click. <laughs> oh, I forgot to ask if it was alright for me to record the call. <laughs> Okay, that's kind of cool. Common chicory is a somewhat woody uh, perennial herbaceous plant of the family Acer's Acerus say, usually with bright blue flowers and rarely white or pink, native to the old world and has been introduced to North America and Australia. I see. So it's a plant. Well, that much was obvious. Hey, shut up. Oh no. Okay. Science is a poor pursuit for young men. Oh god, this man is everything that is wrong. <laughs> science, science is a poor pursuit for young men. Too much, in, in, too much infatuation with the new and novel, with no room to appreciate the ref, refuge of tradition. Ah yes, my favorite tradition. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Quite frankly, Mr. Keating should have seen what was coming next. Oh no. Wait, is Mr. Keating the one Oh who's... dear God! Oh, fucking hell. Mr. Keating's the one that's dating flesh things, probably. So, uh, apparently this is going to be our first this day. Is, this is wrong. This is... Get this off the screen now. <laughs> I don't know what this is. Uh, I'm guessing... I have no fucking clue. I'm guessing it's either, like, um... Plants that have been potted or a microscopic image. Oh. Oh, Jesus Christ. Oh, I don't like this. I didn't know what it was. I thought it was just the top to a lid, like a lid or something. I didn't think it was this. Oh. Uh, oh. No. Oh. I'll read this. March 8th, 1942. This subject, 42-FA5. And it's time for her meal. Wait, what? I didn't get to read that. What the fuck? It you seems... probably accidentally pressed it again. Yeah. It seems to be able to sense when the fly is near, but further experimentation will be needed to determine how. I don't... Oh god, the... Oh, I... Uh... Notice here, she swallows the fly hole, pushing it inside of its stomach. Once it starts growing teeth in a few days, She'll switch into chewing as it conserves a bit more energy. Is that the only tape? Yep, that's the end of the tape. Dragon on. Oh god, we've got another letter. Deal on good level. That is her thing. <laughs> happy <laughs> happy oh, no. birthday. I'm sorry I couldn't be there in person this year, but I hope my package arrives in time for the party. Work has been busier than expected. Please don't tell me, me he sent that stuff to her for her birthday. <laughs> God. Don't you worry, we're making flesh plant. <laughs> flesh plant? Okay, give me a second. You're gonna name yourself that, aren't you? No. <laughs> That's it. Maybe. You know, you know, I can see. I can. See, I saw it change. <laughs> I saw it change. Oh well, yes, name is Flesh Plant. <laughs> oh well, yes, my name is Flesh Plant. Oh. This game is 
pretty nice so far, but like it's still <laughs> fucked up at parts. <laughs> well, it's I mean it is a horror game. It's gonna be fucked. Up. Yeah. Anyway, woke up been busier than expected. I'm sorry for my last few letters gave the impression that I can be frank about the work I'm doing, but now that the lab is fully operational, the experiments have started in earnest, I realize some self-censorship on my own part will be required. In the vaguest terms possible, my work involves supplementing the army's di Oh god. Oh god. Oh my- Oh, they're feeding this to people. Oh uh, god. Uh, oh uh. No. No, no, no. Oh god. Okay. It keeps getting it's more and better. <laughs> Chu says is dying inside and outside. Hello, Chu. Oh wait, did Chu get to see the video? Oh, I don't. Know. Run, run, Chu. Anyway, hatchet. Uh. In the vaguest terms possible, my work involves supplementing the Omid's diet with quick and cheap meat. But, Dr. Petrov has some lofty goals for where the research could lead. I'm sorry to say your sister's son attended college to become a glorified sausage maker, but it's not the worst place war could have taken me. That being said, Dr. Petrov is very passionate about the work we're doing. It's miles different from the lab work at Tufts tough, tough, tough College. There's half a dozen experiments in different stages of development, and every day I'm learning something new. It's frantic and fast-paced, but energizing. It'll be a while before the world builds the <laughs> Excuse me. It'll be a while before we're manufacturing canned meats, but it could probably... But I could probably trade you some jerky for your homemade fudge by next Christmas. Uh, oh no! Uh, I give. I will feed you flesh plant in exchange for fudge. <laughs> your loving nephew, Charles. My name Charles. Hey Pika, what do you think about this? <laughs> <laughs> what do you think about this off. right here? Get that off the fucking screen now, you son of a bitch! <laughs> you know, you know, I have to click it. No, you really don't. But Chu didn't get to see it. I'm waiting for Chu's response. <laughs> Chu didn't need to see it. Merge Gardens is now available on Misplay. Wow, <laughs> thanks for the random notification to my phone, Misplay. Chu's two tournaments and basically that. By a reaction, schools more or less literally killing me. Okay, that that's is fair. unfortunate. Okay, I guess I'll Here, give the recording. Here, give me a moment. I must do something very important. I almost collapsed this morning. Oh, Jesus Christ, you. Oh, God. This seems to be necessary. There. Yes. Recording dated March 3rd, 1942. Oh no, I gotta do more Nixon boy. Wait, his hand, before you do anything, look at his hand. What the fuck? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Petrov, it appears that your hand is hanging by a single ligament. You might want to go check that out. Yeah. <laughs> I am running on four hours of sleep, and I haven't been skipping lunch. Are you saying you haven't been because you have been? I have. I have been. Yeah, that's not that's not good. Eat chew. I demand it. Chew, eat, eat the chew. I wait. No, not that. I can't <laughs> type. <laughs> I did. Well, I guess Chu would want to be eaten, but that's besides the point. Um. Anyway, I'll I'll I'll, I'll get to reading this guy's lines now. <clears throat> there, 
We're recording now. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't swear to his face. I don't know. I don't want to be recorded. No. <laughs> Oh, what the hell did you get me involved with, Dr. Petrov? It's a flower charm. <laughs> it's a flower charm. <laughs> it has teeth. Yes, the teeth were unexpected, but look how eventually they grew in. <laughs> Even may they grow in. I'm so delicious. I, I've been repeating the same song in my head over and over all day. I think they meant delirious. Del I. <laughs> I mean so delicious. Delir I mean delicious is thematic for what I was talking about earlier about you wanting to get eaten. <laughs> I'm trying right. my best. Okay. <laughs> Yes, the teeth were unexpected, but look how evenly they grew in. <laughs> the dentist. <laughs> <laughs> the dentistry isn't the issue, Dr. Petrov. What you're doing is unethical. I'm very sleep deprived and not fully here. Fair. Fair. How exactly is it unethical? <laughs> Wow. Are you saying that I'm not a perfectly moral human being? Speaking of a human being... Uh, you ripped apart a living, breathing thing to make... Mr. Koenig. Uh, wait, no, I just confused... I just mixed the two voices together. Mr. Koenig, this isn't a butcher shop. I'm not hacking and stitching animals together like cheap circus attractions. So, this is not the factory. Got it. Oh, Jesus this. Christ. What? I just see the second sentence. <laughs> the first I grew four this words. I grew black blastokist. I found a lot of <laughs> What's your favorite idea? Mine is being creative. How do you get the idea? By thinking creatively. Are you okay, Chu? <laughs> <laughs> I think Chu is a little messed up right now. Is Chu, has, has, has schoolwork turned the Chu into a bot? Yes. I grew this flower from a blastocast. Blastokist. I fertilized the egg by needle injection in my lab. It's just the first four words of the second sentence. I mean, it's... Uh, I fertilized the egg. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's not... I mean, it's... No, I haven't been okay for weeks. I'm losing it. <laughs> that song is looping. <laughs> No, I, oh, I, all I'm saying is I'm going to just clip that with, with just being said, I fertilize the egg and that be the end of it. Don't, don't, don't forget, this is quite literally scientific terminology. <laughs> but it can be taken as a sexual window. Yes, it, yes, it can, but still. What do you, what do you mean, guru? Before it reaches the embryonic stage, you can count the number of cells inside a blastokist by hand. If you have an expensive... <laughs> My brain is dying. <laughs> if you have an expensive microscope, a small needle, and lots of time, you can even identify what each of these individual cells would grow and divide into. Maybe that's what that picture is. That's what I'm guessing. Yeah, I thought it was a microscopic image. Yeah. 
So I take those individual cells, and instead of letting it grow into a monkey, I manually pro I manually revolve. Nixon is killing my brain. <laughs> So I take those individual cells, and it, instead of letting it grow into a monkey, I manually remove what I don't know, what I don't want it to grow, and rearrange what I do want it to grow. Right? Yeah, I'm looking at Pika's message. Oh. And when you look at this orange, tell me what you exactly see. It's just a boring orange. Maybe to you, but not to me. <laughs> just... Oh, she's just she's just typing the song. Oh, that's what I've they're. I've never heard this song. <laughs> Say. But, but, why turn it into that? You read those botany books like I told you to, yes? Yes? <laughs> His face. Very simple structures, aren't they? Most of the plant is made of the same type of cell. Not complicated organ system. No complicated organ systems, no skeletal structure, no need for a centralized brain. If I took these pre-embryonic masses of cells and just rearranged them willy-nilly, I create thousands of malformed feet and failures before I stumbled on the useful fall. Is this game just about playing God? I guess. I don't know. <gasps> Wait, we can create our own flesh girlfriend? Shut up, right? <laughs> so instead, I use plant structures as a basis to rearrange the cells, and the results have been astounding. Just a few rows of my pseudo plant cell design, it is now only maintains the, and it not only maintains the structure but continues growing it naturally, like the animal cells can remember their plant roots. Pardon the pun, of course. But you're missing the point. You're not growing a new life. You're. You're forcing something to suffer from its own birth. They don't suffer, Charles. <laughs> I've been analyzing their brain patterns. They... They use so little energy to grow, their brains default to a dream state. A calm, peaceful sleep. And then we'll be killing them for their meat. Yes, but someday I'll design them to grow as large as trees, shedding meat like apples of their branches. They reign for hundreds of years. This is awful. This is awful. Wait. Wait. Let's just take it like they're they're not like they're not talking about plants. This is just basically. <laughs> Like, they're trying to create 610. They're literally trying to create a thing that's like 610. <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ. How is, how is this anything like 610? Because 610 has the ability to infect non-living things and turn it into its fleshy structure. It's been do it's done that to buildings. As well as poles. That, and that's other things. That's completely unrelated to what he's talking about and it's they've, the reason why i said like the the hang meat like apples is because uh in the church they hang live human beings like fruit and slowly dangle them down when they're just ripe and feast on them 
Well, this is this is still like, yeah, it, this is extremely different from that. Yeah, th this is a lighter version. But well, I it's still not a see lighter version. I still see it going wrong. wrong. I can see it. Well, going I mean, very it's, wrong. it's it's absolutely just... going to go wrong, but it's like a completely <laughs> different situation. This isn't a contagious pathogen of any kind. This is just making meat plants. <laughs> The forest of these trees will negate the need to raise animals for slaughter, ending a 10,000 year old genocide of innocent creatures. Oh, Jesus Christ! That's the, that's the thing. This is actually, like, almost sounding ethical. Yeah. Like, if this was actually possible, I mean, this is basically just the same idea as, like, the not too distant dream of just cloning meat without a brain attached mm -hmm. to get away to, to get rid of the ethical concerns around killing animals to get meat yeah but it's 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 done in a uh just what the fuck <laughs> yeah just thing what is the fuck. like if we don't kill some of the animals that we have on farms, it can lead to overpopulation. And the pop- well, the population would- Like, the population would steady itself fairly naturally. Oh. Like, they- they have such a high population because we're the ones uh, using them. <laughs> like, that sounds wrong. Well, yeah, the, the, probably because it is kind of wrong. Like, yeah. they they have such a, like, the animal population is where it is, and is so detrimental to the environment because of factory farming, where the entire point is to have an absurdly large amount of animals. Yeah. Without that, they just tend to meld well with their ecosystems. They would probably be invasive for a some time, but ultimately most animals would right. just have steady populations if we just stopped penning them. Anyway. Enough about logistics about farming. <laughs> I already I already bought a plot of land a bit further north for when I'm ready to grow them. Of course, I just realized a joke that we hadn't properly made. Of course, this is all happening in Alabama. <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> this is all taking place in fucking Alabama. <laughs> I thought it would take decades for me to make something like this, but then I found you. I read your paper on Hey Typical the Embryo. Nixon doesn't do big science words. Fuck off. <laughs> <laughs> Embryonal development. And it felt like a pra practical extension of my own work on the ter 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 what did I just do? Oh, I guess I can save right here where you fucked the... <laughs> where you had trouble. Nixon's gonna shoot you in the fuck. <laughs> that paper was on birth defects, Petro. I can't do that to animals on purpose. Holy shit, they're trying to give these things birth defects. Well, no, it's not it's it's more that he's like using stuff that's related to birth defects as a basis to do his work. Uh. What's evolution if not a series of beneficial birth defects? I mean that's actually not wrong. <laughs> yeah. What would take a thousand generations and dead ends to spontaneously develop we could grow overnight? 
While other scientists are trying to fix the problems nature gave us, we'll design a sustainable future for the planet. Well, it should... Well, it should be a future without biting flowers, at least. Why is he looking at me like that? I don't know. Really, Chu? Why, Chu? Why, why do you use Scare Bright, Chu? My brain hurts. I was not receiving attention. <laughs> but maybe you could isolate the stomach and rearrange the structure like a Venus white trap? A Venus flytrap. See, I'm glad I recorded that because I am out of a penny. <laughs> out of penny. Oh no, what's the next thing gonna be? Tape shut off. <laughs> oh god. Oh god, he's drinking now. Oh fuck. Now, men like you or I, we would know better. Well, no, you wouldn't. No, yeah. men like you or I, yes, I'm I'm a real... You, you see, you can tell that I'm a... I, I'm a very well-adjusted human being by the fact that I fantasize about beating my mom because she was a suffragette. Yes, you know, I'm I'm a good person. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh my god. Can anyway. I just... Give me a gun. <laughs> well, uh... My bodies tell me I have to shit, so... First time I get to use the intermission. The new one. I the see. one Hatchet will like. How long do you think it'll take you? Not very long. It'll take me like a few minutes. I'm trying to think if I'll have enough time to go get my mom a foot rub. Go ahead. I usually watch okay. videos on the toilet. I'll probably be at least 30 minutes then. So, where?
pitch. Yeah. Took a bit longer than I thought it would. All right. Let's get back to uh, Nixon. I, I really love my overlays. Why do? She was gonna hop. When the witches in the woods well, welcome you into our gingerbread house, you don't accept. Uh, match it? Match it. Did it right? Yeah, you, you cut off, you don't accept, and then violence. Uh oh. When the witch in the woods become welcome uh, 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 I don't like drugs. <laughs> My name is Richard Nixon. <laughs> don't accept the invitation. Oh no. You throw her in the fire. Oh no, it's gonna get worse. Yup. Um. The fuck am I looking at? I don't know. Uh. Oh look, the flower changed. At least it's a little less cursed now. Doesn't have tea. <laughs> Has reptilian arms. Those or, are not reptilian arms. Or legs. I don't know what the fuck you call them. Oh look! This looks familiar. <laughs> mm -hmm. Meat plant. Alright, it's time for the letter. Yay. Dear Cousin Delilah. I've been paying extra to get the hometown paper shipped down here in Alabama. And I, oh god, I just remembered I'm in Alabama. <laughs> <laughs> and I read that you won a blue ribbon for your peanut butter fudge at the, at the county fair last month. You must be absolutely over the moon. I can wait to a lesser extent. As I've told you in my last correspondence, I'm finally getting the hang of the work which must be secret, and I've managed to make a breakthrough of my own. Essentially, for the past year, I've been trying to perfect Dr. Petrov's recipes. It'll make some new sort of confectionery, and when he feels like I'm... Oh, God, I don't... Oh god, I hate this coding. I, uh, confectionery. And when he feels like I'm ready, I'll go through the hard work of perfecting it. A little less flour here, a little more baking powder there. Try to get the ratios just right. Aww. But I finally made a recipe of my own. I hope someday I can share it with you, the rest of the family. And make you as proud as you will make me. Especially the ribbon. Uh. Oh, no. I don't want to keep doing this. <laughs> this is awful. Also, when the fuck are we going to be dating the monsters? I don't fucking know. With Wolf, Charles. I want to see some monster dick. If it's Twitch approved, <laughs> it's not going to have that, you fucking dipshit. <laughs> P.S. Take heed. Your mother won't stay the third. The, 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 take heed. Your mother won't stay the number two baker in the family for long. 
and she'll make everyone in the family fat with fudge until she's reclaimed her crown. What? <laughs> well, time for the recording again. Life is so pretty. Why do you save them all into individual safe spots? Because I can. Recording dated August 24th, 1942. Okay. It's ah. Uh. <laughs> it's on. Why is my brain. I've been watching too much hentai today. Still don't like his hand. I don't either. But like I I hear okay, it's on. And my brain says they're doing some kinky cosplay. <laughs> Shit. Say that again, Charles. I'm mad. <laughs> Say murder? Ah. <laughs> Yes, but the whole thing, you drunk. The entire thing you said. The whole thing again. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. The plant animals we've been growing tend to be very small for a lot of reasons. We've only grown them from single rearranged bioclasts. We've only allowed them a few weeks to reach maturity. The plants can't grow faster than the animal's parts it came from. Yes, but get to the important part. Okay, so our experiments with grafting have been failures. But, instead of trying to graft during adulthood, we can simply make our pre-embryonic blueprints bigger by using more bioclists. Oh no. And this wouldn't result in rejection because... We have well-documented cases of siblings ingesting other smaller embryos in the womb, resulting in the embryo containing cells from both siblings, chimeras. Yes, humans can make be chimeras. They will shoot you. <laughs> like, doesn't that happen? Like sometimes when they have, when a woman yeah, has that's, that's, this does happen. Wait, I wonder how the mother feels when one of the children just gets eaten. No. I don't know. <laughs> they, well, they're not children at that point. They're literal selves. <laughs> Only one of us can survive, brother. <laughs> I'm sorry. <sighs> Let's continue. We will merely start this, start that stage in the process even earlier, and assemble larger plants. Now that implies we can only use genetic siblings to build these plants. Or some we can't use other animals to genetically use. <laughs> <laughs> and then you move on. Yeah. <laughs> so I was like, yeah, you said it right. <laughs> That's what you have to do. Like, when I start breaking down, yeah. unless, like, I start all over clearly, you can just continue. Yeah. It hurt. It physically hurts my brain to try to re say this shit. <laughs> We could certainly experiment and find out. Oh, certain. Uh, uh, look, who who the fuck made this font? God damn it! It looks like Isle, not Eyed. Uh, I'd certainly like to see a rabbit pigeon, d d d uh, or something, down the land or something. This hurts my brain. You blow on it in a. 
you blow on the a bunch of seats will fly out on rabbit ear wing. Oh god. What the fuck? Bro. Bro. Calm down. At first you were against this. And now you're for it. He's been he's been wrapped up in it. He sees he sees the 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 good that that meat plants can bring to the world. Although I'm uh, g given the general tone of this, I'm guessing it's going to come to a bottleneck in which they end up trying to use people. Yeah. And that's where we get the datum. <laughs> uh, <laughs> You see, inspiration can strike at any time, Charles. We're gonna have forgotten all of this in the morning. Yes, fine. I can see the merits of your little recording device, Leo. Oh, another idea. Wait, how am I speaking so legibly when drunk? <laughs> I'm wasted on 75 caliber vodka hole. How how am I how am I still piecing syllables together so coherently? It must be all the flesh blood. What if you made blunt? <laughs> Just complete silence for a second. Immediately we'll solve. Okay. Yeah. What if you made plant animals that in con in inter in interconnected with each other? Like pieces of pu pu puzzle piece. <laughs> like pieces of a puzzle piece. <laughs> okay, there's there's a little bit of the intoxication coming through. <laughs> it's always good good science happen oh. when drunk, yes. I gotta do something. Oh god, what are you gonna do? Wait, are you gonna name yourself pieces of a puzzle piece? No. Or are you gonna? Or are you gonna do plant animals? Yep, pieces of a puzzle piece. Hey, Hatchie, you mind clicking on me to see my profile? <sighs> yeah, pieces of a puzzle piece. Do you not see any like special colors? Well, I mean, yeah, it's like you got nitro, obviously. Yeah, I like it. I... I mean, I barely care. Fair. Anyway. Uh, can I get out of this, please? Uh... You could have one plant specifically designed to collect and refine nutrients, when you can, with which you can feed a second plant that can just focus on growing bigger. That's a strange plant to need a... That's a strange plant to need a mouth, Charles. That's a strange You're one to plant. Talk. That's a strange plant. Oh wait, that's not. That's a strange place. <laughs> a place. That's a strange plant. That's a strange plant, Charles. <laughs> that's a strange plant, Charles. All right, so I know uh, two things I need to clip from this. Tree. That's a strange plant, Charles. Whatever you'd like to put a mouth on. Oh my god. Uh, whatever you'd like to put the mouth is fine with me, Dr. Petrov. <laughs> I would prefer mouth on groin, you know, so, so the plant suck a cock. <laughs> that shit. I want flesh plant to be flesh, fleshly. Ah, <laughs> uh, ah, uh, uh, what was that? <laughs> like he's actually getting worried for a moment. Uh, oh yes. Uh, <laughs> I'm mixing up the voices too much. Yeah. Oh yes. <laughs> It was just a little joke. Let's let's call them a. <laughs> Did he actually just flirt with him? I don't know if it was him flirting with him or him, 
Oh dear god. Oh dear god, our main man is considering actually making sex toy plant plant the animals. Oh no. <laughs> this is This well, is, this, all is wrong. this is why it's called the romancing flesh. Uh Um, aren't you recording this by any chance? Wait. You er, you weren't recording this by any chance, are you? Hey, shut up. <laughs> Wait, why are we going back here? It's the home to, yeah, I don't know, maybe you accidentally clicked on it? I didn't click anything. <laughs> if they'd stopped there, we might be hauling them on gas gastronomic. <sighs> If they'd stop there, we might be hailing them as gastronomic pioneers. What the fuck? <laughs> what the fuck? Heck, I might have eaten up ribeye salad for dinner tonight. But then they decided to start fucking the plant animals. <laughs> but I think they wanted more than food. <laughs> but I think they wanted more than food. They wanted to fuck the plant animals. Oh, they wanted to put- they wanted to put their wood in this other weird wood! Oh, oh no, oh, no. Oh, oh god. This is wrong, this- I- this is wrong. Oh look! Oh, I did not notice that at first. What happened to the bunny? What is wrong with the bunny? What is that on the bunny? Uh, one of its legs. Well... Thank- <laughs> I'm questioning why it looks like that, you fucking dipshit. <laughs> well, look, the flower, flower grew more beautifully. That, the, the, the flower has, oh, it has little flappy wieners. No, oh, it's a ball. The flower is a cock. <laughs> Wait, there's another picture here. Oh god, there's... What the hell is this? It's an aquatic one, Hatchet. You you should like it. Hmm. It's got tentacles. And a beak. Don't tell Spoon. <laughs> Don't tell Spoon. They, ma they made a goddamn meat plant out of a squid. Damn it. It's all... It's only family's messaging. Like, he doesn't want to... He doesn't have any friends. <laughs> I wonder why he has no friends. <laughs> the first indicator that he may not be the most mentally stable individual is the fact that he decided it was a good idea to take up a doctoral job in Alabama. <laughs> Research job in Alabama. The second indicator is the fact that he wants to fuck his animal plant creatures. <laughs> Dear great, dear great uncle Anthony, great uncle Anthony, dear great uncle Anthony, I fucked many plants. <laughs> it's just that's all the letter. I fucked many plants. <laughs> Love Charles. <laughs> I, I tried recreating your famous dry rub. Oh God, I don't don't say it. Oh God, <laughs> dry rub. No. <laughs> <laughs> I tried recreating your famous dry rub mix. Some of the ingredients were hard to come by, rationing a little bit. But I think we managed to get the close-up proclamation. We threw a little backyard barbecue, that's what we saw. We saw a little girl eating our meat plant, fucking hell. <laughs> we threw a little backyard barbecue for the neighborhood. To taste test our first production batch of meat. It was a resounding success. This little experiment has given me a newfound appreciation for the time I spent on your farm when I was younger, Dr. Pet. Younger. Dr. Petrov nearly fainted during the butchering process, leaving me to do it all on my own. He reminded me of the time you put shell clarabelle cl chicken on my dinner plate. Please write back when you have the chance. I'm dying to hear how the rest of the family is doing. 
your city slicker grand nephew Charles, aka Plant Fucker sixty nine. <laughs> <laughs> Well, another audio log like, where I probably make that bitch off uncomfortable. <laughs> I'm, I'm B Mr. Petrov. Let me fuck the plants though. <laughs> Look at how they vicious the beast. Recording dated November 20th, 1942. I must stick my I must stick my sausage in the voluptuous plant leaf. <laughs> Oh, here you go, Hatchet. Audio log. Numbers, numbers, numbers. We may have a <laughs> You good? Richard Nixon, do not know how to count. <laughs> Using numbers today. We may have had a snag with the rabbit experiment. Off screen. Wait, this is this. Is, are you recording? <laughs> oh wait, it's, this, is are this you me? recording? I I think this is me. Oh, uh, you were recording a log on the rabbit. The 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 rabbit with fucked up leg. <laughs> <laughs> it's just the little spit. <laughs> oh God, no, what the no, fuck? no, don't. No! Did he fuck the bunny? No, I don't think that's what happened, but... This is... Uh... It's just a little spat, Sergei. They'll be back together in more time. <sighs> the rabbit's new leg bit it, Charles. <laughs> So he grafted a plant animal onto a rabbit. Ah. This is awful. Yeah. I warned you this might happen if we didn't engineer both of the animals together that way. Olna was a little confused, that's all. Let Jack settle down for a couple days and I'm sure he'll take Olna back. After seeing how quickly Jack took to his new leg, I was more than happy to let this whole thing keep going. But is this necessarily the best for both of them? Ulna can move around on their own, and so can Jack. They're not wholly dependent on each other. Maybe we could just let them stay friends. This is... This is not how science works. <laughs> what I'm just basing there, they just the the other guy just ripped the or his leg off, just jammed the other leg in. <laughs> uh, 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 yes, Cheryl. Do do you think that do you think that we should continue to purse subject A to date subject B, or should we simply let them remain friends? <laughs> by by Joe, subject C just friend zone subject D. <laughs> Should we really be watching subject E and F? Uh, <laughs> maybe we can just let them stay friends. <laughs> He looks just mad. stayed friends. Look at his face. He looks pissed off, but also looks just, funny. Just stay friends. You think I made these two to just stay friends? What about the pets, Lapon? I don't know what I'm saying anymore. <laughs> we should really be focusing on our real work. Plus, this is starting to veer off both our areas of expertise. Let's just call the experiment off for now. You want to call it off, Silky? Well, maybe I should take your advice and engineer a new symbiote for Omba then. A new partner. Might solve Omba's problems. So he's where the symbiotes came from. The fuck 
what are you talking about? Venom from Spider-Man is, is a symbiote. Oh. Yeah, it, it, it was... This is this was, is unrelated. It, it, was, it was a joke. <laughs> I'm confused. Yeah, like, the Venom and other things like it in the Spider-Man series are all symbiotes that attach to people. I see. And become that, so yeah. Yeah, there's actually... Oh, sorry. Go ahead. There's actually in one Spider-Man game where you can get a, a bad ending is where you basically control all the symbiotes and take over the world. And become an evil overlord. Yeah, I don't see why that's the bad ending. That sounds like it went pretty good for Mr. Parr. <laughs> <laughs> or not Mr. Parr. What the fuck? That's Incredibles. Yeah. Yeah. So, uh... As Spider-Man's walking, you just see everyone just get brutally murdered. <laughs> yes, perfect ending for a Spider-Man game. Wonderful. Wonderful. Anyway. Well, we don't know what sort of effect that'll have on Jack, mentally speaking. Again, Charles, this is all very new to me. Everything we've been doing here has been new to me. Some new experimental organism, a novel discovery, some unexpected result. And it is exciting, don't get me wrong. But it's nice to have something someone... It's nice to have something, someone, reliable in all that chaos. I fuck plants. <laughs> who was also a little exciting himself. Oh, so it's a male plant. And I'm glad that person has been you. Oh wait, that was him. Never mind. I still fuck plants. <laughs> I sent Momo, I fuck plants. No, god damn it. <laughs> I was gonna be like, wait a minute, what? <laughs> uh, okay, gonna just give me a second. <laughs> uh, let's see, where's Momo in my DMs? There he is. <laughs> You're gonna explain. <laughs> Just that uh, I fuck plants. <laughs> I gave all the explanation we needed. I simply sent I fuck plants. <laughs> So I was just gonna get two messages and just say I fuck I, plants. I plants. God damn it! What's <laughs> wrong with us? This is wrong. It's hilarious though. Maybe we can play it. Maybe we can keep the Jack and Ona experiment going. We can pick up the discussion in the morning. If you prefer. Deep shot. Wait. But why is he doing this again? Oh, I it's probably because I was using the space bar. Either that or it might be that technically you're supposed to read that after the tapes. Oh. Maybe. So you've already read all the juicy stuff. Oh, God. Don't put it like that. Come on. <laughs> yes, I love Shit. the porn. Shut up. <laughs> oh no, there's even more. The rest is the boys in blue mopping up. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I just imagine it constantly screaming. <laughs> I I just find it funny because like <laughs> Like, I haven't been pointing this out to, because suspension of disbelief, but there's just something about this image that is just, like, like it's very clearly, like, an edit onto an actual image. And yeah. it's just, it looks so fake, but so <laughs> funny at the same time. Yeah. You've got a meat bamboo. Also, if the meat also, <laughs> just an example of how fake it looks. 
if the meat bamboo was actually being hit by the fire, why is why does it look like the meat bamboo is pasted over the fire? <laughs> <laughs> But anyway, meat bamboo. <laughs> There's that. Got this. Incident report. Oh, wait, no, this is the police. This is the police report, so. Yeah. No, no, no more. No, no more meat bamboo. You want me to do it like what I did with the date thing? Yeah, go ahead. Incident report narrative. On the above date, P.O. Daniels responded to a call about an escaped animal. Upon finding the loose cow, Theo D Daniels saw its mouth was covered in blood. Upon closer inspection, the grass the cow was eating was some kind of malformed rat stuck in the ground. After calling for backup, officers discovered a sizable acreage of very deformed animals. Mr. Keating became agitated and in response, officers were forced to put him into submission. Mr. Petrov was taken into custody for questioning. For health and safety reasons, it was decided to humanely dispatch the animals before bringing Mr. Petrov and Mr. Fielding into custody. Safely dispatch to humanely dispatch the animals. That's a picture of a guy with a flamethrower. That's not a humane way to kill animals. I'm the office of Redacted. Redacted. As my JAG officer has previously claimed on my behalf, Dr. S Sergei Petrov was awarded by awarded a government contract from General Redacted. 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 <laughs> I got the Redactus. Who died at Redacted. During Redacted. <laughs> resulting in a transmission period in which most of Petrov's work of an already secretive nature was done with little to no oversight until my office was made aware of it. Unfortunately, my upcoming absolvement may result in many more officers lower along the chain of command being found at fault. Officers, you do not want to bring to court during these desperate times. Considering the improbability of sy systemic failure within the U.S. Armed Forces, I suggest we propose the possibility that foreign agents were involved. Under the specific circumstances, Petrov was working as a contractor. A treason charge would take him outside of U.S. military jurisdiction and tried as a civilian. You're welcome. You got a, you got a whole ass cover-up going on. They have to cover up all the splooch covered. Oh, this is a letter. Plant animals. I say, yeah, this is you. <laughs> well, it says it still has a redacted thing, so I think it's. Oh, okay. Two. Redacted. Mr. Keating. Oh, this is. Mr. Keating and I are calling it. Oh, yeah, this is the Russian guy. Uh, not the Russian guy. The Nixon guy you gave voice to. Yeah, Nixon. Mr. Kidding and I are currently in the county jail. I believe the police have set fire to most of our work. I tried to save as much as our work as possible, but please send copies of all the records I've sent to you, sent so far to your offices. And if you have any internal copies of your correspondence, please send those as well. We've made a remarkable progress in the last few months, and I believe if we act quickly, we can still reach our first production deadline. Thank you. Dr. Sergei R. Heller. That's not my name, I'm goddamn Richard Nixon, you fucking piece of shit! <laughs> oh, goddamn resolution. Just break it up, Richard Nixon. <laughs> <laughs> We live in a Delta world with a fragile tide. This is not an era for radical new ideas, because I have the good idea of beating my mom because she liked the idea of women getting the vote. <laughs> I hate this guy so much. This is not an era for radical new ideas. We just found a long and hard war to reestablish the grand order of the world, for heaven's sake. <sighs> 
and on American soil. A couple of dandy bookworms were playing God and feeding diseased meat to our children. I couldn't stand it. I mean, that makes sense if they're feeding diseased meat. That well, yeah, is like, illegal. This is, <laughs> like, th these guys are obviously in the wrong. We can just still also say that this fucker is a piece of shit. Oh, yeah. I'm not saying that. He's still a piece of shit. Yeah. So I took a leaf from Mr. Petrov's playbook. What type of playbook? I'm sorry. <laughs> oh god, oh god, no. <laughs> For some reason it was really sticky and it was laminated. <laughs> I psychologically tore Mr. Keating apart and I reformed and re, re educated him as soft. Wait, oh, no. oh god, that's just wrong. Oh god, this is so bad. What type of message is this game giving? <laughs> it's giving the message of this is a fucked up setting. <laughs> that's all. Enter you. Oh. oh fucking hell. Oh. Oh look, we're a D class. Uh, disassociated state you're in, Doc, Mr. King. It gives you a sense of clarity, doesn't it? Uh, I don't think so, <laughs> looking at that character's face. <laughs> he looks like he wants to die. Oh, save right here. Oh, god damn it, with him having that face. <laughs> yeah. You can see what I see. Okay, so when do I start dating and fucking flesh monsters? Shut up. <laughs> Why didn't your family ever bring you back? Why did your lover try to rescue his work instead of you? Wait, they did turn oh, into lovers. They actually. Oh shit, they actually. Damn. Okay. Damn. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'm surprised this guy hasn't been more homophobic in that case. Yeah given his general dispositions. <laughs> if you leave this prison tonight, where can you go? Oh, I gotta... Ch Do I choose? Okay, I'm gonna save just in case I do have to choose. You know the answers. You know why you're here. You know why you need to sign this confession. Why you need to stay behind bars. Okay, it wasn't choices. You left home and traveled across the country, hoping you'd change into the sort of person your family would miss. But instead of doing something to make them proud, you decided to pursue what made you happy, and you became a sick cock. Car caricature of everything your parents hated about you in the first place. A mama's boy sticking his meat in the dirt. Hoping it will grow. It sounds wrong. Sir, please back off. <laughs> Stop getting closer. Sign the confession. That is the one option. Oh, wait, no, it was an option. Oh. Sign the confession. If you leave this prison now, you'll undo all the work I've done for you. No. This, what what work? Right. You piece oh god, I hate this man. Yeah. You'll fall back into bad habits and become the same person you were three years ago. And none of us want that, would you? No. I don't want to shit. Oh, oh wait, yeah. that's, that's... Well, it. I mean, you voice this character, so... No. I don't want to change back Warden. Wait, did part of him just fall off? I've made so much progress. It looked like it. Um... It was hard fabricating the equipment necessary to continue Dr. 
You're right, Hatchet. Wait, is that... I can't tell if this is... Is this supposed to be... Yeah, that's part of him. So he had that beard going on. No. No, I'm, I'm trying to figure out if this is Nixon voice or Russian voice. Oh, this is the the Nixon guy. His his font changed to this. Uh, yeah. It was hard fabricating the fabricating the equipment necessary to can you continue Dr. Petskov's work. But you couldn't believe how fruitful my experiments have become. Jesus. Oh. Uh. Uh. And quite frankly, I like the persons I I like the persons I've become. Uh -huh. Wait, no, I think this is the I think Russian this guy. is Russian guy. Yeah. And quite frankly, I like the persons I've become. Jesus Christ. Well, uh the next thing guy gets attacked. Is that it? Oh. It took me months to find you. You didn't answer what I called you. Uh, uh. Wait, is that... That's the, the other Nixon guy. His lover. Yeah, that's not what I called your name. From a distance, I almost couldn't recognize you. But I found you. Oh, wait. No, this is supposed to be uh, the, the... The Russian I, I need to be doing the Russian. I hope you're dreaming of me. Drinking from the Greek. What? Brook. Brook. Oh, good. Drinking from the brook. Eating the fruit from your branches. Huddling from the rain and sleet in your safe embrace. And someday, in a brief moment of lucidity, Maybe you'll read this message and know I'm gone. You wanted us to change the world. And we did. Starting with ourselves. I'll always remember you fondly. Love, Charles. In. Okay, End. that's it. That's it. That's the end. Romancy. Okay. Okay. Not what Roll I expected, one. but it was pretty interesting. Yeah, that was honestly, I like the overall story. Um, We have confirmed that he did fuck plants because he was gay. And, he, and, and they both turned into plants. That are meat plants. My head yeah. hurts. So, uh, as we've all figured out, um, some random Russian guy and Richard Nixon came together in a loving, fleshy matrimony. <laughs> yeah. Uh, that was a whole experience. I have the another game called The Babysitter. <laughs> it's also another oh. horror visual novel. If you want to continue. Oh, is that the Babysitter? Is that from the same people that did the convenience store and stuff? No. Oh. Ooh. Well, okay. You want to continue? Yeah. Wait. Back up. What the fuck was the point of the voice volume? <laughs> yeah. Wait a minute. There was no voice. <laughs> there was no voice acting. <laughs> <laughs> it, it that that was the volume that determined how loud I could be. Yeah. <laughs> that was just uh that was I'm I felt I feel bittersweet about it. Yeah. 
it's an interesting story. I'm gonna put this in intermission. But I also now have a stomach ache. Oh. Let me open the babysitter. Let me open the baby. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, Jesus, going full screen. Okay. <laughs> Best experience with headphones. I have been so focused on grinding this uh, game giving me free money uh, thing that I have been completely neglecting to keep up to date with my web comics that I read. Uh, you know what's actually funny, Hatchet? There's music volume, sound volume, and voice volume again. Oh, I see. <laughs> so, more, definitely more voice volume. <laughs> Yay. Apparently this is a horror game about being a babysitter. Oh shit, I didn't even have to set it up. It automatically picked it up. Sweet. Alright, we... right, oh yeah, I gotta change it. Streamlabs. Being no longer romancing SCP-610. Yeah, the babysitter. What should be called a babysitter? Babysitting Ro fun time. Romancing our babysitter. <laughs> you know God, what I'm no. doing with that. No, don't. There's a lot of bad implications there. <laughs> but buddy babysitting service. Okay, let's go with that. That's good. <laughs> what buddy babysitting service? <laughs> For the butt buddy babies, I mean the butt buddy babysit. I'm but, but now I'm Richard Nixon. <laughs> I'm just gonna choose this one. Okay. Choose... All right. It's all been changed. Right, Why don't you say you're going to choose this one? I'm confused. Because there's three games that don't really show a picture and they're all called The Babysitter. <laughs> oh. Wow. So, Fire in the Dark. Fire in the Dark, not Shot in the Dark? Yeah. <laughs> it's the same thing. <sighs> anyway, new game. Now let's see what it's actually voice acting this time. The answer is maybe. Guardian Angel Elite Child Minding Services. This is not, that's just, this is not promising. <laughs> Child Minder requires harming of our 12 year old daughter. <laughs> Child minder. <laughs> what does that mean? It's it's some it's some fucking soulless corporation uh trying to sound chic and hip. <laughs> That's the only explanation for this. It doesn't sound right. It doesn't at all. One day later. One day later. This suburb, Whitefield Groves, is one of the most exclusive neighborhoods in the city. But it's on the outskirts of town, pretty much in the middle of nowhere. This house is like all other houses in a neighborhood. It's set far apart from its neighbors. This sure is a nice place with a well-maintained lawn and a pool, although at this hour, it does seem a little foreboding. 
Do so, I wonder if it has anything to do with the fact that you're a fucking baby minder or whatever? <laughs> it's about 7 p.m. It's already full dark. Full dark. <laughs> the house seems quiet. Is the is is the house quiet or is the house full quiet? <laughs> <laughs> Mister, wait, why did I say Mister? <laughs> Mister, <laughs> Miss Raj asked you to be here by seven thirty p.m. and had been particular that you be on time. Miss Raj told you that she and her husband, Doctor Raj are going out for the evening, and she didn't want their daughter home alone. The fact that the girl is 12 and requires the sitter indicates there may be some issues here. Oh my god! Just uh, openly yay. assume that. Yay, we're uh... We're doing a heck of ableism, are we? <laughs> Apparently. Uh, so we're going from, uh, fa fascist, uh, like, pseudo-fascist American Alabama fucker to, uh, ableist babysitter. Alright. Oh, I'm sorry, baby minder. <laughs> <laughs> or it could be j Or it could just be that the child doesn't like being alone at home after dark. That's quite normal. Why is your first inclination to question whether or not they have a neurodivergency, and your second inclination is, well, maybe they just feel lonely? <laughs> what is this line of reasoning, bitch? Miss Frog sounded like a very exacting kind of parent. The type who is very mindful of every aspect of her child's care. Oh no. Mm. A very controlling parent. Mm. That always makes a very healthy-minded child. <laughs> I can't think of a single way that an overbearing parent might cause trauma on a child. Yeah. She asked you a lot of questions about your background and your qualifications. She seemed pretty finicky. What the hell did I do in my past? <laughs> you can't blame her, really. These days, most parents, particularly the rich ones, pay a lot of attention to their children's upbringing. I mean, come to think of it, you did just come back from being a be, being being a gay scientist who, who who turned himself into flesh plants and apparently killed Richard Nixon. <laughs> well, I mean, I think everyone can get on board with that. Yeah. Is <laughs> Richard Nixon? Wait, is Richard Nixon? That just makes me curious. Is Richard Nixon still alive? No, I don't think so. I think he's dead. <laughs> Richard Nixon. I'm pretty sure. President. There's no way he's still alive, right? I I'm pretty sure he's dead. Yeah, died April s April 22nd, 1994. Yeah, he's dead. How old was he? He was born in 1913. Wow. Damn. He lived to be old! <laughs> <laughs> What, how, how old was he? He was old! <laughs> it is the nature of our times, and it pays to be vigilant. Since what, you've been... What, it, oh. it sounds almost as if you're doing like a, like a pseudo lullaby voice. Yep. Why? <laughs> because it, it fits. <laughs> uh... Since you've been registered with the Guardian Angel Child Care Agency for the last three years, you've gotten good references, so you're pretty confident you would get the gig. It pays well, too. 
I don't like this. While you're here, you're about half an hour early, which you hope is not too early for them. You better ring the doorbell to let them know you're here. Oh, I can actually interact. The doorbell! It made a sound! Oh! It's anime time! Oh, I've still... Oh, fuck! <laughs> it's anime time! Oh, it blinks! Something, something went weird on my end, and it went to stream view instead of uh. Discord view. While I stood up to do something. Do you want to voice Dr. Raj or? Uh, I don't. I don't fucking know. <gasps> uh, why is the game is like? Okay, now it stopped. It was like lagging. And the uh, music was stuttery as fuck. What the hell? Okay. Oh yes, of course, you must be the babysitter. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Dr. Raj. My wife told me you would be here. <laughs> you make this sound like a robot. <laughs> My dad left me when I was four. <laughs> I am an only child. <laughs> Shit. I don't know what I'm doing. You're early. That's great. Do come in. Why did I just get an eerie ghost like it goes sound it, as soon as do come in popped up uh because um uh the the ghosts are horny <laughs> oh. yeah i'm only like my brain is so fried from the last game i am only going to be reading things in like a robot like, voice like a, it's not even a robot voice what i'm going for is like a uh like like a like a seventh grader reading from a script for the first time. Right. That's super nervous. <laughs> uh. He steps aside and you walk into the house. This it sounded like you said he sepsis aside. <laughs> <laughs> he has sepsis. <laughs> he sepsis aside. <laughs> This lounge area overlooks the lawn and the pool through the tinted black windows on your left. The floor underfoot is real wood, and the furniture looks like it costs a fortune. The wood, the floor underfoot is real wood. <laughs> mm. The floor underfoot is real wood. I mean, that's what's funny about that. <laughs> I'm just imagining, like, you, you step inside of another house, it's like, oh yeah, by the way, we have plastic wood, not real wood. <laughs> well, I mean, I, like, that's basically what some linoleum is meant to be like. Uh, like, like, flooring that's meant to look like wood floors, but is a cheaper alternative commonly is made out of either some kind of particle board or is um yeah basically just plastic <laughs> or um, made out of some other synthetic material I'm, i was also thinking oh yeah we don't have real wood we have lego wood lego wood <laughs> yes <sighs> you know what <laughs> now i want to someday build a house in which the entire floor is Lego bricks all upturned? It would be the worst house in existence, but I'm gonna do it. <laughs> you have to wear shoes constantly. 
Oh no, you're not allowed to wear shoes. We're going Japanese oh, style. Oh my god, that's awful. You will always be stepping on the upright Legos. Uh. I will invite important businessmen to my house and then trap them in my house so that they have to constantly walk on Legos. What the hell's wrong with you? <laughs> A lot. <laughs> There's a lot of things wrong with me. For starters, I talk with you. <laughs> oh. I'm so glad. I'm so glad you found you on such a short notice. Sir, sis, the, my uh, wife lady was quite worried. <laughs> what? Wife lady's her first name now. Just wife, wife lady. lady. That's <laughs> wife lady. That's my wife. <laughs> uh, is this problematic? Yes. Probably. <laughs> Probably is. But you know what? This guy looks like he might be problematic anyway. Actually, he's rich. He is problematic. <laughs> anyway. Wife lady. That's my wife. <laughs> Okay, let me try to actually... Shreya? Sereya? Something along those lines? Yeah. Sereya, that's my wife, was quite worried you wouldn't be able to get a st st a st Oh, wouldn't be able to get a sitter on time. I at first I thought... Oh god, at first I read that as my wife wasn't sure you'd be able to get a stiffy in time. <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> anyway, uh, yeah, Dirty, you just missed us, uh, dating some flesh. Now we're on to the babysitter. So, wait. <laughs> so, 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 you, so you were dating flesh. A piece, a piece of flesh. You're not far off. Well, uh, it's a bit more complicated than that, but I mean, whatever. Yeah. We okay. got to watch a lovely love story uh, between um, some random Russian guy and Richard Nixon uh, combining themselves with plant meat and then turning into plant meat creatures. And then we saw another Richard Nixon. Richard Nick Nixon. Uh, die. Richard Dixon. <laughs> Yeah. Hey, no. Do you, do you guys? Sorry. Go, Sorry. go ahead. Me. No, I was about to say. I almost said Nixon's name, but with, instead of an X with a G. <laughs> right. I almost said it. I I didn't mean to. I was oh. trying. I, I was. How? I don't know. It was about to come out. I was like N -N Nixon. <laughs> That's why I stuttered. It, oh god, oh dear god. Oh god, what is wrong with you? <laughs> I don't, I'm tired. It took it took me a second to figure out what the issue was. <laughs> I was I was like I was think well, I was like wait what? And then I was like, oh yeah, now I got it. It it it, it took me less time than hatch, but like Yeah, Richard Nick Oh god no <laughs> God no, right. Go to hey, at room. least, at least, at least, Bright didn't add an R to it. Oh hell no! I yeah. would never. I don't <laughs> even want to say the word. Uh, well, no shit. You shouldn't want to say. The word. Yeah. Uh, it, it was just so bad. I literally panicked. Uh... <laughs> oh my god, Bright. Anyway, on with the game. <sighs> Wait, was this but wait, I'm confused. I thought we were trying to say something. Was someone trying to make a point about something or am I just being weird? I don't think so, Darda. Were you trying to say something? A oh, darn is muted. <laughs> <laughs> is muted. Well, whatever. All right, back back to reading for Doctor Raj. Yeah. 
You see, I got an in, in, infant. In, uh. <laughs> you got an infant. <laughs> I got an infant. My brain is too fried for this. I, I about read that as I got an inflation. <laughs> you see, I got an invitation. That's what it is. I got an invitation to speak at a late evening segment of a medical cunt. Cut. This this hurts my brain. A medical cunt. Cunt of medical. Oh god. This is what happens when you make me voice Richard mix. My brain slowly okay. turns okay. into mush. Okay, Hatch. This might this might help you. Go look in general family. I got something new that you might like. But general family. Yeah. Uh, Discord slow. <laughs> Discord still slow. You know what I'm doing? Sincere loading it. Uh, I want to go to. I want to go to intermission and go to the bathroom. Yeah. I I also got some like some gay like uh, uh hand glove kind of things. I don't know. Ah. Hey Adurna, go look in at, at the stream. I think you'll like it. Yeah, we got the new look going on. Intermission. Uh, hey, how how you how you doing, Adarna? Silence. Oh, no, oh, that's that's why. Uh, oh, what's up? So, so you didn't you didn't hear anything I said? Yeah. Um, I I got a I've been composing a bit. Sweet. Recently. I got a piece for uh, Caitlin Dunn, and I also got uh, um, Kieran, uh, Ke Kieran, yeah, there we go. Um, and I also got a piece called, like, Dysphoria, where I took um, a trans man's poem and, like, put it to uh, music. Yeah, I think that it worked out well, so. Oh. Both are pretty much done. Oh, wait. Yeah, I am very mentally tired. There. I don't know what it is about, like, doing voices oh, that nice. just brings me so much. Okay, the intermission screen looks really nice. Yeah, doesn't it? It looks great. I love it. It uh, looks so much better than the... Uh, it's Hold so on. Uh, oh, oh it, it's, 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 it's... It's easy to beat it, but... Yeah, true. Though, to be fair, it's not that... Old was wasn't bad. Yeah. Like, it, like, it, it wasn't, wasn't fun. It, it wasn't fun. as bad as we, like, joke about. Yeah, like, that's the thing. It wasn't actually all that bad. It's just my brain, like, when looking at it, made me feel viscerally uncomfortable for an absolutely no reason. 
I don't know why. It was just like some weird part of my monkey brain that looked at the old intro and thought, this is going to kill me somehow. I don't know how, but it's going to kill me. Well, well, there's so much chance it can, though. <laughs> Sorry, what'd you say? Oh, I made a joke. It, there's so much chance it can. Oh. Wait, what do you know that I don't? How the fuck is that old intro Back. gonna kill me? Oh, well. So, what does Derna think? I think Aderna uh, 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 appreciates it based upon the fact that they said they like it. Ah. Uh. Right. Yeah, I, I, I like it. Sorry, I'm like just making food. Yeah. Better than original, right? <laughs> that Honestly, be way better. <laughs> yeah, be before you before you got here, we were very specifically, uh, um, uh, talking shit about the original. Well, I could bring the original back. No. <laughs> yeah, like, yeah. when, the, the, I, like, I still don't know how to describe it properly, but there's, like, some part <laughs> of my, like, it's, it's not that that old intermission screen was bad it's that like there was some weird part of my instinctual monkey brain that <laughs> interpreted it as being a threat to me <laughs> like i it just made me viscerally uncomfortable for absolutely no rational reason what the hell that shit? i don't know you, you're at you're asking me as if i can automatically switch off how my brain reacts to that. Well, can't you? No! I, I, I know, I'm joking. I, I know. <laughs> I know, I'm joking. <laughs> yeah, I, I if If I could switch off how my brain acts, I would switch it too. There's, well, like, some of it. M most of it, I'm like, eh. And fine about it. Like, pretty much the things I would probably switch would be like the ones that like have to do with getting like drawn into like stuff on like Twitter and Facebook and shit. Probably. Me? Yeah, I get you. But anyway, I guess I gotta go back to wasting. Okay. You see, I can, I my uh my brain again read it as inflation. You see, I got an invitation to oh. speak at <laughs> I got an invitation to speak at a large event. The evening segment of a meta the stream paused. Oh wait, hold on. Is that better? Yeah. Segment of a medical convention just two days ago, so the whole situation came about wow. rather abruptly. Sarea is very particular about in about in whose care okay yeah about in whose care we leave maya our daughter we had a bad experience with our last babysitter <sighs> okay she is very cautious when it comes to maya 
a sense of my own apology in his tone. Oh, we get, oh, we get choices. Okay, here we go. You get to choose. Are you uh, gonna, are you gonna save first? I don't think there is a way to save. Yeah. Oh wait. Yes, there is. <laughs> you were about to confirm that you can't save as it was slowly fading up onto the screen. <laughs> yeah, there's no way to say. <laughs> okay, do we, do we want to say, yes, I feel that the interview was quite thorough, or it's alright, it's important to be diligent when it comes to such matters. I would probably say the second one. Second one? You can always come back. That's very true. <laughs> I can see why you gained her confidence. I'll go in and tell her you're here. I just noticed that he blinks. You didn't? Yeah, I said he blinks. I, when did you say that? <laughs> Oh, when he came, first came in, when we first saw the character, I said, oh, oh he blinks. I did not hear that. <laughs> Are you gaslighting me? Yes. You fucking piece of shit. <laughs> you fucking piece. You could have at least stuck to it. What? And oh, you, wait, no. What, you what do you mean by gaslighting? I, I, I did say that they did blink. Oh, okay, no. Get gaslighting means uh, it, it's a t it's a type of manipulation in which you try to convince a person reality, like to to make them doubt their experiences, basically. Oh, then never mind. Yeah, they they are, I did say they blinked. Yeah. How? Wait a minute. You've been playing Among Us for this long. People talking about gaslighting, and you don't know what gaslighting is. Ush. No. Why are you bonking me of all people? <laughs> anyway, since you accidentally skipped forward, I think it was something like, she's off getting ready, or my wife's getting ready. Then, I'll then... Oh, Why'd shit. You over... You, over you fuck... <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> Looks like we're not making the other choice. No, wait. No, but you over... It looked like you overwrit the game. No, don't... Why are we... We don't need to restart. <laughs> oh. I didn't know how to reload. Well, we could have just continued. That's fine. Now we just gotta skip all through here. Okay. How many times has Bright done this? Once. <laughs> <laughs> Book bookworm. LMAO restarting to gain our safe file back. <laughs> True gamer behavior. <laughs> the thing is, I don't know how to, oh my how to like without clicking and overwrite it. You would probably just have to quit. Uh so create a new save there's like when you go to main menu it's just new game well, what? Anyway, we're going oh there's here. no like yeah there's no That's continue there you go hatchet i'll go in and tell her you're here she's bare she's just getting ready I'll then grab my coat and head out to the car, so I'll see you next when we're back. What? Okay. 
This seems like fairly self-explanatory information. You don't need to describe your entire schedule. <laughs> it was a pleasure meeting you. Do make yourself comfortable. S uh, what? Woman what did lady. I? It, <laughs> no, don't. <laughs> the Sarah, 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 will be out in a sec. Shreya, Shreya, Shreya. It's Shreya. Yeah. Well, Adarna knows how to say these names. <laughs> Adarna, our language expert. No, that's <laughs> Momo. Oh yeah, by the way, both Bright and I sent Momo the statement, I fuck plants, earlier. <laughs> yeah. What the fuck? <laughs> 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 well, you see, it's all related to the previous game we were playing, where we had a running joke that the main character fucked the animal plant creatures that they were making. And then it turns out that he was. It's just that he was fucking his boyfriend, who was an animal plant creature all along. Yep. What? <laughs> We broke Adarna. And Adarna's dead. Good. Right. good. We, we are. We just committed murder. Right. Dr. Raj leaves you and you wait for Miss Raj. We her to, well, we don't need that parentheses bit. We know that. <laughs> what? What he's it, talking it would, about? Wouldn't be it would be it wouldn't be murder. <laughs> it would be uh manslaughter. You would be it would be manslaughter. Okay, fair, fair. Yeah. Well, woman slaughter in my case. <laughs> I'm yeah. I'm. I'm sorry to say this, but I'm pretty sure the, the the legal terminology is just manslaughter. I think that's the name of the crime. <laughs> NB slaw. NB slaughter. NB slaughter. NB slaughter. NB slaughter. NB slaughter. Right away. <laughs> he seems pleasant, if a little absent. A rather stark difference to Miss Raj, who sounded formal and humorless on the call. It must be pleasant here during the day. The glass doors on your left letting in natural light, but now at night the windows look out into darkness and the trees bordering the lawn throw deep shadows. I did nothing. Oh my gosh. I see and that. And slot. It's understandable now why they would not oh want gosh. their child to spend a late evening alone. The house is large and isolated from its neighbors. The neighborhood is itself rather lonesome. Children with their active imaginations can easily get distressed after a dark in such environment. Every creak and every night sound taking on sinister undertones. Oh, she's got big boobs. That shouldn't be your first instinct to <laughs> Wait, say. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> right? What? <laughs> hey, I'm and flat. Like, Adorna, you are yeah, breaking boy. up. Yeah, you're breaking up. You're still nope, breaking nope, up. Still, still breaking up. As a flat chested person, I am allowed to say other people have big boobs. No, that's, no, that's not how that works. No, no, that's not how 
You're still you're breaking still, up. You're still, like, very um, broken. Oh, I'm still breaking up. Oh, I think I'm fine now. Uh, yeah, you're fine now. Well, no. Still. Oh, wait, no. Ah, uh, you're back. The breaking there up. There we go. There we go. Okay, now you're there back. There we go. Um... Now I know that I gotta do 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 Boom. Bitch. There you go. Fucking cut. Uh. Um. <laughs> I love Bookworm's message. First just calling her wife lady and now focusing on her boobs. Yeah. Yep. <clears throat> and see that's the thing i have the excuse of it turn of, of me having troubles saying like saying her name because my brain is fried after having done both albert and nixon oh. continuously for an hour and a half meanwhile oh, you, can, you can just use miss raj you could just you could just say miss raj Oh yeah, so, I know that. It's just like so no, I mean like person. before you got here. Yeah. Um, I ended up uh, like stuttering on her first name, trying to say it, and and my brain just gave up, and eventually I said something along the lines of "wife lady." Yeah. <laughs> and Booker oh says, my God. "True." Also, we could refer to the guy as man husband. Balance makes it better, <laughs> right? Yes. Yes. Yeah. No, uh, that makes it hundred percent better. Or we could just call them by their names and not have the 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 half brain dead envy slot over here trying to remember these things. Right. We could also do that, and anyway. we could also, you know, just not immediately also, right? commenting on a girl's chest when we first see her. Uh huh. Also, bright. Like, Boom. I see that. Bonk Boom. Bright. <laughs> boom, boom, boom. There we go. <laughs> anyway. Uh, anyway. Hello there. And how oh, and how oh. you get the boom? <laughs> <laughs> what, what? What? There we go. Don't do that, boys. <laughs> Why? I don't deserve these box. <laughs> <laughs> Why don't you like that voice? Oh you? no, you, you you do, you do. Re remember I... the um, hatch. Remember the inflation. <laughs> okay, I guess that's valid. <laughs> What's wrong with his voice? Stop. Just, just don't. Okay. What the fuck, right? I'm <laughs> sorry. I, I don't know. I don't know what voice to give this one. Right. That's the wrong voice for this game. <laughs> yeah, it's for kindergarten. Alright, so Hatchet, are you wanting to read this character or no? I'm, my head hurts so bad. I'll take that as a no. Alright. Uh, hello there. We have spoken on the phone. Thank you for being early today. I appreciate that. As an an and, my husband might have told you we're attending a medical convention, and he is one of the keynote speakers for the evening. The organizers. Anand? Maybe. I think that's pronounced Anand. Probably. Yeah. Organizers. Just... I, I thought I thought that was like a mistake for a second. I'm like, oh yeah, no, it's, it's a nod. <laughs> yeah. The organizers just called us a few minutes ago and told us that the traffic around the convention center is a nightmare and that we should s start out early f if you wanted to get there on time. So now we have to leave half an hour earlier. The organizers seem so well disorganized her tone is clipped she is clearly a woman who does not like it when planning 
plans go awry and situations get unpredictable. Ari? When plans go awry? I don't know how to say that word. I've never seen awry. it before. I have never, never seen, seen that seen... word. You've never seen the word awry before? Yeah, I... You I, haven't I... seen it? No, I thought that was a misspelling or something. Have you at least heard it? No. Have you at least heard it? No. My plans went awry. Right. You should have... You should have at least heard it once. That is an extremely common English term. Is English <laughs> yeah. your second and language all of a sudden? <laughs> it's extremely, it's extremely common, like... Wait, um, Bookworm said I used to call it all... extremely... Oh. Ari. 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 Yeah. Ari. Yeah. Bookworm said yeah, I used to call Ari. it Ari before I got you bright. I <laughs> See, I'm not the only one. So... Okay. That 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 doesn't that doesn't distract from the fact that you have that you don't think you've heard the word awry before, even though it's used in like about half the movies, like that half the movies and like TV shows, like that are on at least once. I watch anime. I'm sure it showed up in anime too, or, or did. Yes, it's been it's been in anime too. I think. Well, I just never really heard that word. I don't remember hearing that word. Unless you like prob unless you watch like, though like, they might have a word for it in like Japanese. Well, Probably. like they might have a word that like we translate to it in Japanese. So. Yeah, uh, Bookworm says, to be honest, it's hard to know how they spell their words with or without captions or something. Hmm. Yeah. Anyway. Oh. No. No, no, it's... I'm... I'm... We, we asked if she's ever heard of the word before. She said she hasn't. Captions or no captions doesn't matter. I should, I should, in that context, I'm in the shit out of you, son of bitches. <laughs> How? Don't worry about I, it. No, that's not gaslighting. Or is it? R right, that's not gaslighting. Or is it? Right, that's I had not to. Gaslighting. <laughs> right, I had to tell you the dis the definition of gaslighting earlier. You don't have the right to already start using it. When you clearly don't know how to use the term properly. Anyway, I'm actually going to go back to reading. He demonstrated he doesn't know the term. Shush. Oh. By trying to say that was gaslighting when I was... Shush. I, I will now continue reading. I'm really glad we were able to find a sitter at such short notice. I know Maya seems quite odd to be needing a sitter, but I try to avoid leaving our daughter home alone if possible. Oh look, another... Another safe spot! Which is quite understandable, the house does seem rather foreboding after dark. Yes, children can require supervision even at that age. I, I would say the first one. Yeah. Yeah. The what second the, one sounds really good. The second one does. It also doesn't make sense, honestly. Nah. Does, does it, it really? <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead. Yeah. Well, in any case, it's not the house. It's just that she's going through a difficult time right now. Oh, God damn it, already! <laughs> Damn. I'm sorry to hear that. How so? We can either pry or just say I'm sorry to hear that. I, well, I want to know what's up. <laughs> Welcome says pry, so we're prying. How so? Well, we recently moved here at, from another state about six months ago. Anand got an offer to be a director at the 
NHU hospital. We wanted to stay together as a family, so we packed up and sh shifted our lives. It was rather abrupt change for Maya, you know, leaving her old friends, her old life, the house she grew up in. She'd taken it a little hard. She hasn't made any friends at her new school. She spends a lot of time alone. Anon feels guilty about it because we moved for his work, but it... I almost said... I almost wrote that as dictatorship. <laughs> but the dictatorship... <laughs> <laughs> oh. But the directorship at the NHU hospital is a once in a lifetime opportunity. It was only right for him to accept it. Maya's behavior doesn't make it easier on him, though. Couple that with her overactive imagination, and it can get a little stressful. Look. Another two choices we can have. You probably don't need to be saving at every one of these. I will. Out of spite, just because you said that. Change can be hard for children at this age. What kind of behavior are we talking about? I mean, like... To me, it kind of makes sense to be asking these sorts of questions because you're the babysitter, so I, I guess go with the second one. Well, it's nothing serious, really. She just likes to murder people. Sorry. Uh... <laughs> Please don't misunderstand her. Understand her, me. <laughs> What? I I said please don't misunderstand her me. <laughs> misunderstand her me. <laughs> Should we really be letting Bright do all the reading here? Shush. Maya is a wonderful child. In fact, she's very bright for her age, which may be part of the problem. Like bright. It's, she's very bright for her age, which may be part of the problem. Wow. Well, it's not part of the problem. That's... Man, that seems weird. This is... Yeah, she's so smart. Yeah, this is kind of... Uh, well, wealthy family upper end is starting to kind of feel a little just, just a little ableist in here. Yeah, she's thoughtful, she reads beyond her years, and she's surprisingly mature for her age. It's just that she still hasn't come to terms with the move, and unfortunately, she's expressing her distress in rather disconcerting ways. Bro, stop, stop. Beating around the bush, just tell us whether she's killing people or not. <laughs> How so? Children generally act out of their inner turmoil when they can't talk about it. <laughs> what? Okay, so we that go actually... for either. Go, go, go for the second one. Go, go, yeah, was... do it. Do it. I was gonna, yeah, I was gonna say we either go with uh, continuing to be a basic ass bitch or armchair psychologist. Armchair <laughs> psychologist. And might as well do the arms to chair psychology. Why, that's exactly what her counselor said. Uh. <laughs> I must say that I'm quite glad I'm leaving her in your care tonight. You seem to understand children. She is struggling with a lot of emotions. She's just turning 12, so she's on the cuffs of her teenage years. She's in a new school, and you know how difficult school can be at that age. Hormones, boys, and all the rest of it. Did you say cups instead of cusp? Shush. <laughs> She's on the cups. <laughs> <laughs> Watch out. She's on the cups. My, my daughter's been acting a little strange. She keeps standing on the cup. <laughs> We're not sure how the cups was standing their weight. It just is. She's <laughs> really small. 
<laughs> she just keeps she just keeps getting in the cups and standing and standing in them <laughs> standing on top of them as well <laughs> um, yeah. and Anand and I are busy for much of the day but we try to talk to her about our feelings whenever we can but that's not been going too well the problem is she refuses to speak plainly about her feelings instead she makes up outlandish stories and lets her imagination run amok and she tries to draw us and into her morbid make-believe tales okay <laughs> she might be a killer <laughs> that's bad well you probably shouldn't say that Well, like yeah uh, she might not be a killer like, she's just not mentally well there we go I wouldn't say that either, but not mentally well, like insane like part, like, mean... like mess, like messed up with emotions and stuff, like they said. Oh yeah, no. Oh yeah. <laughs> All right. Anyway, her counselor says it's a coping mechanism, a kind of stress response adopted by bright children. Possibly a way to get attention. Perhaps a way of telling us that she wants to leave and go back to her old life. What about my That's children your... now? That was your problem. Fuck off. What? It all makes sense now. Fuck off. What? You know, what more, more morbid, <laughs> morbid fantasies, and this is the sort of stress response oh my right children have. Shut up. Oh, yeah. But. There's actually one thing I wanted to tell you, Hatchet. Remember when I was telling you that book 10 is somewhere in the basement? Yeah. Well, apparently, uh, uh, my mother remembered, uh, what happened to book 9. What happened to book 9? Uh, she, she had to go to work, so I didn't get the full story, but apparently it was burned. Why? I don't know. She was going to tell me tomorrow. Let's see. For some that reason, just... it was just burned. <sighs> okay. Hmm. Well, I'll find out tomorrow. It's a pretty standard thing. Hey, Mom, where do you think these old, like, scrapbooks that meant a lot to me were? Oh, I think we still have one of them. Oh, did you know what happened to the to the ninth one? No, what? I fucking burned it. <laughs> it got burned. Don't ask me how. Yeah, as far as we know, one through eight is still missing. Well, considering the 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 canon explanation for what happened to nine. <laughs> I don't think that bodes well for one through eight. <laughs> anyway. What, what's troubling is that she's never been this way before. She's normally not an attention-seeking child. Oh, look, another safe spot. We don't have to do this. <laughs> I'd say I was doing it out of spite. Her counselor's There's probably no... right. What kind of bizarre-ass version of spite do you have? No, because he said you don't have to do it, and that immediately wanted to make me do it. That's not doing it out of spite. That's just you doing it because you want to be impractical. <laughs> Anything I should be careful about? Any triggers I should avoid talking about or doing? That's a good response. Yeah. Well, not really. Like I said, she's perfectly normal. And not really a difficult child. She can be a little moody at times, that's all. And she might, if you probe, well, try to scare you with some of her stories. About this house, for example. kind of stories, and I'm sure I can handle being told stories. I 
I'm sure I can be handled. Be handled. Be, mm. I'm sure you can. It's just silly juvenile stuff. The kind kids tell each other when they gather around a fire. Uh, uh, gra <laughs> gather around a fire. <laughs> Ah uh, yes, you know, nor normal, normal, normal twelve-year-old things gathering around a fire. <laughs> well, like gather around a campfire, like, like during like uh, I'm think she means like during like a summer camp or some shit like that. Well, yeah, like it it actually does say campfire. I'm just mocking the fact that Bright said fire instead of campfire. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, when they gather oh, around. Oh, so, oh, yeah. So, so they're they're just gathering around like a uh, house burning on fire. Yeah. yeah. Just chanting. <laughs> <laughs> that, sacrificing the house to the old gods. You know, just. Teenage. Just got a new quote for my. Sacrificing the house to the old gods. <laughs> I, I sacrifice my burning house to the almighty bookworm, the knower of all bookworms. What the fuck does that even mean? <laughs> I don't know. I, actually, I'm. I have two new new cards for my deck. <laughs> bookworm just says okay. <laughs> Wait, are you adding the bookworm thing too? <laughs> no, no, I didn't. I didn't hear that. No, I, oh. I said I sacrifice his burning house to bookworm, <laughs> the almighty bookworm, nowhere of all bookworms. <laughs> I just I accept the sacrifice as book. <laughs> one, one sec, one sec, one sec, one sec, one sec. Okay. One sec. I got to put this in here. Da -da 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 -da. Where the fuck is Are you it? doing oh. quotes? The channel? Yep. <laughs> yep. Where's, where's the quotes channel? Which one? There's two. Try. 18 plus and regular. It's, in... it's not 18 plus, so I'm not putting in 18 plus. Um, you, I sacrificed this house to the great book form, you said? Yeah, I know, I said... Or great and powerful. I, I sacrificed almighty this burning book. house to the almighty bookworm. <laughs> Nowhere of all bookworms. Ah. <laughs> okay. One spood to rule them spood. <laughs> Wait, nowhere of all bookworms. This implies I know everyone who calls themselves a bookworm. <laughs> yes, you do, bookworm. <laughs> yep. Well, there's one there's there's one who used to call herself a bookworm here. So Yeah. At least one. Um oh. Here, while you're doing that, I'm gonna rip this. That's a lot of people to keep track of. <laughs> anyway, mm -hmm. don't worry. Don't worry. You're, you're you're you don't don't worry. You have all the tools you need as a bookworm to remember these things. Just keep a journal. <laughs> <laughs> all right. When they gather around a campfire and try to scare each other, I suppose she may have overheard something about this house, and she slashed onto it and blown it out of proportion. It troubles us how morbid and disturbing her imagination can be. Exactly. <laughs> uh, uh. <laughs> if Momo sees that, they're going to question it. <laughs> If anyone sees that, they're going to question it. <laughs> it's, a pretty, it's a pretty it's a pretty universal human action to question your bullshit. <laughs> oh wait, I didn't I didn't put I didn't put who said it. Fuck. Yes, or you did. did. I? Yeah, you did. Uh, yeah, you did. You just put bright at the end. Oh, yeah, you yeah. put dash bright. <laughs> yeah. About this house, our children love dark stories. Why do you think? 
fairy tales are so gruesome. I forgot all the stupid shit you sent me. Uh, oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> I went in DMs. Yeah. Yes, I was... That's how I get to my deck, generally. Uh, children oh. loved... Oh, uh, that's such... <clears throat> Uh, that's such a bad reasoning. <laughs> yeah. Also, Children love ducks. Oh, go ahead. Uh, Adarna, did you see my a recent message I sent to you? Uh... Hello, Deli Rings. Yep. Wait, which re which, 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 which one? The, the, the message is underneath the man in the woods. Okay. Uh, yeah, I've seen that. So, you want to join? I'm I'm fine with joining. Okay. Do you need like a composer to for it or? Uh, we we got we got the music. It was just designing what SCPs to use and everything. That's uh, at the moment. Anyway, hmm. welcome to the group. Okay. Wait. You already have a group with these people. Are you sure you want to create a new one? Yeah, we're... That's the Ouroboros casting group. Alright, that anyway. And then... What I was going to say is... uh, It's really, really flawed logic. Why am I being bonked? <laughs> what? Uh, it's really flawed logic. The children... Here, 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 here. Story. Wait, wait, wait. Here, here, here you go. Oh no, they they <laughs> they, they bonked all three of you. They they bonked all three of you. Hello, mm -hmm. Deli Ring. Hello. Anyway. Welcome in. Hatchet here, saying. Mm -hmm. Said it's really flawed logic. And she's not even here, so. <laughs> she's not even here, so <laughs> you're just bonking. Match it? So he's just getting bonked out of nowhere. Match it. Hey, Hatchy, there? I, uh, never mind. Okay. All right. Yes, I'd rather not go into all of it. It's just nonsense anyway. And besides, that's exactly what she wants. For us to get drawn into our hysteria. In any case, her counselor has always also told us not to engage or react. So if she does try anything, please be patient, be firm, but gentle. What Maya needs now is a little sanity. So about tonight, she's already eaten dinner, and her bedtime is at 9. Which is under 2 hours away. Time should pass quickly. There are snacks in the kitchen if you, sh if you should need it. She pauses and appears to be searching for words. I know that I may have come across as a bit severe when we spoke earlier on the phone. I have to be careful about who I choose to care for Maya. She's having a hard time as it is. That's okay, I would have done the same if it were my daughter. It was pretty intense, but no offense taken. So the first. Yeah. Thank you. I know now that I have nothing to worry about. I'm impressed by your understanding of children. You must be great with them. I'd like Maya to come in now so you can meet her. Wait, Deli Ring says, try and, try and imagine she was driving in yellow light, and then he gets smacked on the head, then turn around. That's what Deli Ring said. My god. Hear voices approach. Shreya's and that of a young girl's. 
They are speaking in low voices, but you sense tension and conflict in their voices. The child's tone is brusque and irate, while Shreya's Brisk. tone is stern. Brisk and irate. Irate. It's it's irate. Yeah. What? <laughs> I thought it would be eerie because it, it smelled weird. Okay, never mind. This is Maya. Say hi, Maya. Maya? Hi. Her voice is so, is so low, you can barely hear it. I'm just telling Maya that... We're only away for about three to four hours, and that she must go to bed no later than nine. She'll cooperate, of course. Isn't that right, Maya? You sense a warning in her tone. Maya? Yes. That mumbled reply again. Ah, another save point. Great to meet you, Maya. Or, we'll make sure you're in bed by nine, right, Maya? And say, just do the first. Right, we have to be off then. If there's anything, please call. I expect you'll be fine. Maya's in good hands. Look, another safe spot. Most of the game is just me saving. <laughs> Don't worry, we wouldn't need to. Everything will be alright. Thanks. I'll call if there are any issues. Uh, call. I guess the second thing. They both work. Alright. Yes, please do that. Goodbye. I want a big boob lady left. A few minutes later. Mr. and Mrs. Faraj have left. An awkward silence descends as Maya stares at you. There's about an hour and thirty minutes to go before her bedtime. Or a visual novel. Yep. So, what would you like to do? Oh. Both of those kind of go together, so... Yeah. Oh, what would you like to one. do? Yeah. <laughs> Nothing. But thanks. Uh, thanks, Kit. Why not watch some TV or read a book? You want to talk? Want a snack? Say you want to talk? I would, I would say talk. Okay. Yeah. Want to talk? No, thanks. Immediately shot down. Uh, this is, oh yeah, oh, had you, you were responding to Dylan Rings, never mind, I didn't see that message. <laughs> uh. That awkward silence again. You shouldn't have come. You shouldn't have taken this job. You should leave. Okay. <laughs> Why would you say that? Um, now, that's not a very polite thing to say, is it? Why should I leave? I wouldn't say the second one. I I, I would say smile. Mm. Yes, first yeah. one. Because you're not safe here. Go while you can. Okay, this is the last time I'm saving. So that's getting annoying. <laughs> and I don't even know if you... You're getting close to like, like <clears throat> well, it shouldn't be the last time you save. Yeah. What am I? It's, in just, danger it's like after. Exactly? It's like after this, you just die. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> after you say that, <laughs> after you say that, you immediately die. Um. I would go with the first one. Alright. I can't tell you because you'll not believe me. 
Nobody believes me. I can take care of myself, don't worry. Maya, how about we talk about something pleasant? What are your hobbies? Um, do the first one. Like, it sounds like the most like you're not writing her off. Yeah. Okay, if you say so. I'd like to go up to my room now. Sure, go ahead, do whatever you want to oh. do. Will you be okay by yourself? <laughs> do you want me to hang out here and... Do you want to hang out here instead? Um... I would go with the second one just to make sure. Like, if I was, like, yeah. actually in this situation, I would probably, like, ask the second one. So... I'll be alright. <gasps> I'm old enough to take care of myself, you know. I told him not to get a sitter. It's not safe. You, you mean you think you're not safe with me? I'm sure you can take care of yourself, but your parents just want to make sure you're okay. Say the second. You're gonna. Yeah. I. I. Yes. Yeah. Either. Either one. I'd say. My parents it's your don't choice. really. Oh. So. My parents don't really care about me. If they did, they yeah. would have listened to me. They don't. Anyway, it's not safe for you. Uh. First one is actually one of my danger from. And. Um, the other one is just dodging all the Go with the go. first one. Go on the. Go on the first first one. I. <clears throat> I just want you to leave, before something happens to you. It feels like you're going in circles with her. Well, oh. I can't. You're stuck with me. Why don't you tell me what exactly I'm in danger from? Yeah, go with the second one. Because, you're, you're, the thing, the fact is, yeah, you're stuck with her but like well she suck with you but like I'd say that in this situation the best thing is to try to gain as much information as possible mm -hmm. like if you're in a situation where you're getting pulled by like a... what the fuck what? It's like some right? Was that you tapping? Coming. No. Well, thanks. It so. wasn't tapping. It sounded like banging. There's it no closer to banging. There's no banging going around near me. So, I mean, there, there could be someone fucking in the other house near me, but I mean, there's no banging what? or anything. Oh, what? Kind of started like clicking your mouse rapidly. No. Yeah. I haven't touched my mouse. Yeah, oh, it's kind of like I click and change the thing. I haven't changed it yet. It sounded like some kind of like rapid thing. Well, I I Rather don't rather like tapping or. I I don't know. Maybe my mic messed up for a bit. I don't know. It's the game. It possessed your computer. <laughs> anyway. I can't. I know what happens if I do. You'll think I'm crazy. You'll laugh or patronize me. Anyway, at least I tried. I'm heading up to my room now. What are you going to do up there? Not bedtime yet. Both the first one. I'm going to read. Maybe write in my journal. Why does it matter anyway? Don't worry, I'm not gonna burn a house down or anything. Just look, if you're not going to leave, then just whatever you do, don't go near the basement, okay? No matter what you hear, don't go near it. Please. Let's go to the basement. Of course you say that right after, like, they tell you not to do that. You're bright. She's not even out of earshot yet. <laughs> I know. And it's like, ah, to the basement I go. <laughs> she leaves you standing alone. That's bright for you. <laughs> I'm immortal, so it's fine. 
I what? An invasion what? of privacy. That's not right. how your immortality works. <laughs> That's not how your immortality works. And cool. immortality doesn't excuse you <laughs> in an act of invasion of privacy. Or we we could take it an easy and well paying pay job and just leave in a few hours. Just bookworm. <laughs> <clears throat> Anyway, ouch, that didn't go too well. It was just as Miss Raj said, Maya is definitely a troubled child. No sooner had they left than she began to try and make the situation uncomfortable. You'll just have to ride this out. If she spends the rest of the evening upstairs, things should be fine. You can hang out here in a lounge and pass the time until the parents get back. It should be easy to do. Still, the conversation with Maya has left a bad taste in your mouth. She definitely seems like a bright young girl. It's a pity she's struggling with the pains of the changes in her life. But growth only ever comes from change, and that's something she'll learn over time. Huh? You decided to wait it out it doesn't on, come. on one of the comfortable couches here. But sure, it is as comfortable as it looks. You practically sink into the plush leather. Ten minutes later. What was that? Came from the f this floor somewhere. It sounded like a door opening. Did Maya come back down? Okay, this is definitely where we do have to save. Mm -hmm. Go and investigate. <laughs> right, where were, why were you saving so much before? Because I can. <laughs> like you, you, you seriously don't know how like much. Well, like yeah, they probably gave you enough like save spots. For you to save every single time, but like it was, it looks like it was six times nine or ten. Yeah, in yeah. terms of the number of save spots. Yeah. All right. The sound came from the near, from near that staircase over there. You distinctly heard the creak of a door opening. <laughs> this had better not be Maya playing around. There are three doors here: the door to your left, the door to your right. Of the stairs and there appears to be a door behind the stairs under it the stairs lead up to another floor presumably where the bedrooms are the sound you heard that that creak of a door opening came from one of these doors you're sure of it okay so probably we'll save here as well check the doors to find out which one was opened yeah Shit's sake. Check the door under the stairs. Oh, who would be like berating your character so much? <laughs> or is the jar? Yep. Is it Harry Potter? Maybe. This must have been a sound you heard. It's through, Harry Potter. Through the gap in the doorway, you see only darkness. Yep, definitely Harry Potter. I'm waiting for a fucking jump scare. It said you have to click the door. <laughs> you didn't get me, bitch. What are you doing? I told you to stay away from the basement. Jeez, you scared the hell out of me. What? Just what do you think you're up to? I told you to stay away from the basement. Why don't you listen? <laughs> Book was in Maya got me. <laughs> Hit Maya, she shot me. Why doesn't anyone listen? Maya, what is it? What exactly is going on? You don't gain anything by doing this. What's that supposed to mean? Are you accusing me of something? I'm not doing anything.
You came down here and opened the door, didn't you? Yes, you are. Your mother warned me that you would do something like this. Oh, wait a second. Oh. No! Uh... Oh, well. Mom blames me for everything. I'll bet she told you I'm making up stories. She tells that to everyone, even total strangers. But I'm not making stories up. I bet she didn't tell you that the, what the real estate lady told us about this house. I just came downstairs now. I heard you moving around downstairs and I came to check what you were up to. I saw you near the basement door even though I told you not to go near it, no matter what you hear. So who opened the door? Wasn't me okay, if that's what you're saying. You know what? You're all the same. All of you think I'm lying. Even my counselor. Maya, what's really going on? If I tell you, you just call me a liar, and you'll accuse me of stuff I didn't do. So I'm not going to tell you anything. Do whatever you like, but for your own sake, stay away from the basement. No matter what you hear. All right, what did what did the real estate agent tell you about the house? Great, she's gone back upstairs again. This is so so not going well. You're just gonna have to write this out somehow until our parents get home. This is definitely getting uncomfortable. No wonder Miss Raj is concerned about the girl. Children express stress in varied ways. We've seen this in children who are going through traumatic changes in their lives. The poor girl. You better close the store, not that you're overly alarmed about what Maya said. But the sight of the open door is a bit creepy. Uh, there. what I wouldn't... Oh? What I wouldn't do for just a tiny bit of healthy communication. Just... Just, just, just sit down... You know, just, just like, have her come sit down on the couch, make mm -hmm. it clear to her that you're not going to laugh at her, and just listen to her. God, what I wouldn't do for just a little bit of actual communication. Yep. Bookmark says, traumatic changes equal people not listening to her. Well, I mean, that kind of, like, the traumatic changes part makes sense. Like, she's had her life uprooted lately, but a part of it is definitely that it seems yeah. like literally no one is actually trying to healthily work through her or help her work through her emotions. Yeah. Even a counselor. What? Watch. We find out it's a church counselor or some shit. Oh someone no! Someone who's not actually someone who's not actually licensed. Yeah. All right. There. That's better. Back to the comfortable sofa, staring out into the darkness of the lawn. I stare into the darkness, and the darkness stares back. <laughs> You'll sit tight until her parents get home. A few minutes later. Really? Again? Come on, this isn't fun anymore. Why would she... I want to investigate. Yeah, go and investigate, and what I'd say is, if you get the option, go up to talk to her. What the hell is that? Someone's crying? It's coming from over there, near the stairs. I are you okay? There is no response. It's coming from the door behind the stairs. I like how the top one's being worried, the bottom one is like, I'm going to call your mother, we don't stop this shit right yeah, now. Yeah, the bottom one's just <laughs> absolute dickhead mo. No <laughs> sensitivity whatsoever. And the top one is ineffectual sensitivity, like not like, like, not enough. That's, like, the most consistent thing that's been happening. Maya? Still no response. This is really aggravating. 
The sound of the weeping is troublesome. <laughs> the sound of the weeping is troublesome. <laughs> what the fuck? Uh, guys. The door is open again. The crying is coming from the pitch darkness beyond it. There's no way you're going to open that door. There's no way you're going to open that door. <laughs> Looks Maya, like the game's smarter than you. Yeah. Maya may be in there, ready to spring out and scare you, and you're not up for being jump scared. You don't really want to die of a heart attack on a babysitting gig. That's not what, you're, what you signed up for. You better shut the door. View. The crying has stopped. This can't go on. Better put a stop to it now, or she'll keep doing this all night. And by the time her parents are back, you'll have died of fright. It's probably a good idea to talk to her. Comfort. Confront her. You should wait he here until she comes out of the basement. She can't stay down there forever. Or you can go upstairs and wait there. When she sneaks back up, you could catch her in the act and then talk to her openly about what she's doing and why it's not going to help the situation. Probably upstairs. go upstairs. Yeah. Go yeah upstairs. Head upstairs. That way you're going to walk in. That way you're going to knock on her door. She's going to be in her room. Miss Ross told you to be gentle but firm. Maybe it's time to focus on the firm a little. Talk directly and firmly to her. Ask her about what, whatever is bothering her. Maybe what she needs is direct talk. Sometimes the best way to address something with children is to get the heart of the problem. She might open up and that would make things easier for her. You didn't think to try that from the start? There are three uh -huh. doors on the side of the hallway. One of these is probably her room. I feel exposed standing here in this hall. She might see you before you, you see her. Maybe you should wait inside her room for her to get back. That would startle her. Sometimes the best way to get a child to listen is to give them a taste of their own medicine. You should probably try the doors to find out which one is her room. Which door should we check first? Left, middle, right. Uh, the le left is best. <laughs> And let's just hope that you actually... Oh. Locked. Left is best. Oh. Come on, knock on the door. Don't just walk in. This must be it. It's a pretty nice room. She's not here. Still, you feel a little guilty about being in here. It is, after all, her bedroom and therefore private. If she doesn't show up in a couple of minutes, you'll leave. Still, it would be good to startle her a little. Illustrate what it is like to get jump scared by someone. Why do you keep skipping the, like, the parentheses bits? Oh, I always am paying attention. Yeah, like, there, you've been, like, completely skipping several parts of dialogue. Shush. A pretty neat desk for a 12-year-old. It must be where she spends her time studying and reading. There's an open book on the table. Something about that book draws your attention. It's her fucking journal. Don't read her fucking journal. It's filled with urgent handwritten text. Curiosity grips you. You really shouldn't be here, in this room, let alone looking at her desk, but... Something about the writing, about this manic scrawl. The writing is dated a couple weeks ago. You feel compelled to take a closer look. Read the fucking diary. God damn it. <laughs> oh my god, I hate... <laughs> so far, the games are really good, but you hated both of them. <laughs> the first one I hated because... Gross. And this one I hate because it doesn't give you the option to actually try to be a good babysitter. Yeah. <laughs> I, like, I... 
I encouraged you to go upstairs because I figured it'd be best to try and sit down and talk with her. And that's the only time when the character seems to think, maybe I should just sit down and talk with the child. <laughs> but no, instead, I'm gonna go, you know, not even knock on the door first, break into her room and start reading her goddamn diary. What the fuck is wrong with this person? <laughs> Uh, Thursday 11th I heard her again last night after both mama and dad have gone to bed I was lying in bed nearly asleep when I heard the sound of her weeping downstairs I knew what would come next and sure enough I heard a faint shuffle of her footsteps as she made her way up the base of steps <laughs> and up the stairs then she was in the hall outside my room I heard the squeak of my room's door handle turn. I stayed under the blankets, my eyes shut tight. Thank God I locked the door. It had, has become a compulsive habit and drives Ma, Ma and Dad crazy. I'm going around locking every door in the house, maybe for my anxiety. After a time, she went away. Friday, 12th. At breakfast, I told Ma that I heard the sounds again the previous night. The weeping and the footsteps. Ma glared at me and Dad didn't even bother looking up from his plate. Ma said, I want you to stop this, Maya. It's becoming tiresome and annoying. There's no one else in this house but the three of us. What about the... What about the real estate lady told us before we moved in here? I blurted. She said, That was a tragic incident. But it happened in this house many years ago. It has nothing to do with us. You're obsessing and imagining things. Ma said, almost in tears. I nearly burst out crying. It wasn't always like this. In our old life, before we moved here six months ago, they used to listen to me and take what I said seriously. Now no one believes anything I say. Oh, how I hate this house. But am I going crazy? Is she real? Am I the only one able to see and hear her? I remember when I first encountered the lady in the basement. It was just after we moved in. I was alone downstairs. I heard the basement door creak open. I went to check. I went down there and nearly died from terror. I ran upstairs screaming and told mom and dad what I, what I saw. They were alarmed and searched the basement and then the whole house. But he found nothing. All he saw in the basement were old packing boxes stored there. The lady in the basement. I remember her when I saw her coming up the basement stairs out of the darkness. I remember a blast of rage and malevolence. Malevolence. I fear for my life. Another time a week later. It's, it's, it's right. It's pronounced malevolence. Yeah, I know, but I was in the middle of yawning. When I said that, so I couldn't say it right. Yeah, anyway. Yeah. Another, yeah. Another time, a week later, late at night, I heard her weeping downstairs. I ran to mom and dad's bedroom and crawled into bed with them crying. Dan searched the house again, he searched the basement, even though I got hysterical and begged him not to. He found nothing. This happened a couple more times. Now they look at me not with concern, but with sus suspicion. And even anger. Ma well, thanks, thanks to my counselor, that I'm having some kind of breakdown brought about by our move across the country and teenage hormones. It's true that I hate this state, I hate my new school, and most of all, I hate this house. I wish we'd never moved here, but could they be all be right? Could it be true that, that the trauma of change is driving me insane to make me see things? Seated by that awful story that the real estate agent told <laughs> about what happened in this house all those years ago? Am I going crazy? Some nights I lie in bed, wide awake, waiting for sounds from the basement to start frozen in terror. Friday 27th. Okay, so I'm not the only one who hears such Caesar. Which means I'm not going crazy, but it also means the situation is dangerous. Yesterday, Mom and, Mom and Dad have to attend a party thrown by an old friend of Dad's. 
think it was one of those boring adult parties where everyone stands around sipping drinks and talking late into the night. They hired a sitter, a sweet 22 year old girl, Nadia, who goes to the to the BH college nearby. I really like her, she was so pretty. I was up here and it was around 9 when I heard her scream. I ran her downstairs and found her covering, cowering behind the sofa, her face ashen. She was pouring towards the basement door, and I knew at once that Nadia had seen her too. I asked Nadia what happened. She said that she heard a basement door opening, and then a few minutes later, the sound of someone weeping. She thought it was me, and she went to investigate. She opened the basement door wide, and then she... Hey, just what do you think you're doing in here? You're reading my diary? It's so creepy. I'm, I'm going to call my mom. I should have locked my door when I went to the bathroom. And just for once, I didn't lock my room and see what happens. Please leave my room. Now you see, here's the thing. That is the single most expected and valid response. <laughs> yeah. Like... And uh, it's the, entirely our fault for being pieces of shit. And the first response was, wait, I was here to scare you and said you got me again. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, so... Given given the situation, since you've already been the fucking dick face and read her diary... Do the second well, one. Yeah, do the second do one. Do the second and, one. Like, just, just, just uh, uh, empathize with her. Oh god, he shouldn't be in this house. The last sitter, it didn't go too well for her. You should leave this house now. What happened to the previous sitter? Telling me about this lady in the basement. Is she hot? No I'm kidding. I'm sorry. Right? <laughs> okay. This is, you, you, you deserve this. Wait. And Bookor did this. it too. You, 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 Mm -hmm. Double bonk. What was the story the real estate agent told you about this house? You see, there's really two good questions. What happened to the setter, and what, what was the story the real estate agent said? So the thing I was going to mention... Mm -hmm. The sitter. Is... Do the sitter one first, and she would talk, was talking yeah. about the sitter. The, the thing I was going to mention is... At this point, given my uh, decent bit of knowledge on the history of true crime and just creepy encounters, at this point, if I was this girl's parents, I would be thinking, is there a squatter somewhere in the house? And more importantly, mm -hmm. should I be looking for some place that is you know, out of sight, harder to find. Because there have been cases of that. Like, literal hidden compartments in houses where some squatters, you know, squat. And, like, these people most of the time are just completely harmless, but it's still going to be creepy. And in that case, the, the person's obviously scaring your child, so you need to deal with it. You don't ignore the child's concerns. Everyone in this game is an asshole. Except for the child. Including you. Yeah, including the player character. Well, actually, Guilty maybe not charged. the player character, but the per person who's who's talking to the player character. Because the player character is not trying to do any of this shit. True, the player character is a... Well... Yeah, true. Wait, so I guess that kind of just means it's Bright. Bright's an asshole. <laughs> As the head priest to the Church of Assholeology, I agree to that statement. <laughs> Assholeology. Oh my god. It is the religion that studies how to be an asshole and get how to get away with it. It is the religion that studies assholes. <laughs> Oh, we really study assholes. <laughs> you know what I mean. <laughs> I, I think I think Brian's fine. I think Brian's friend with that other one too. She makes <laughs> enough jokes about them as it is. 
<laughs> I fucking love this religion. <laughs> uh, what happened to the previous sitter? I guess you mean not. I guess you mean Nadia. She saw the lady in the basement. That's how I think that of that thing down there. In caps. Wait. In caps. In caps. Period. <laughs> what does that uh, mean? She saw the lady in the basement. That's how I think of the thing down there. In caps. <laughs> just, yeah. just... You know what? I I think I'm gonna take a, I think I think I'm gonna take a a, a a leap in logic and say that the child is having troubles wording her thoughts because she is scared. <laughs> that um, is my conclusion. I'm gonna say. I'm gonna say she was trying to say, like, cap, like in caps, like, sorry, uh, no, no, no uh, per like period, you know, like how people say, like, like mm -hmm. say say something, and they're like period, like when they're yeah. like trying to like make a uh... point or something. Wait, <laughs> we're from nope, only assholes allowed, but it's not lady in the basement. <laughs> Anyway, Nadia heard her, her crying. She thought it was me, and she went down into the basement to investigate. When I found her, she was screaming and hysterical. I could barely understand what she was saying. She said that the woman came at her. That's what she said. Ah. Uh, <clears throat> God damn it. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, I got Hatchet. <laughs> <laughs> oh. She called my mom and told her that she was leaving the house. That she, she didn't want to stay a moment longer. Mom was furious and asked her why, but Nadia would not say why. I mean, it sounds crazy when you talk about it out loud, so I don't blame her. Also, I think Nadia didn't even want to think about what she saw, let alone talk about it. She was so shaken. Nadia was up here with me when Ma was talking to her on the phone. She just listened to Ma wordlessly, and then she left without a word. When Ma came home, she was furious with me. With you? What? With you? Let me guess she thought you scared her away? I'd go with the second one. Yeah, she thought that I told Nadia about the lady in the basement and spooked her. That's why I didn't want to tell you anything about it. About all this. I just wanted you to stay away from the, that basement. Because I knew you wouldn't believe me, and because I didn't want Ma to say that I scared you away. Tell me about this lady. Oh! Okay, so we actually do get to see that. I want to, I want okay, to know the so story. To... Yeah. Let's hear about the awful, awful crimes committed on these grounds. Before we moved here, Dad wanted to find a place near the hospital where he's working. So he got in touch with this, with this real estate firm, and she showed them a bunch of houses. Ma didn't like any of them. Finally, the agent told them that she had one more place on her file. She brought us here. Ma loved, this, loved the place at once. It was spacious, had a nice lawn, and a pool, two floors. What's not to love? Even better was the rent. I remember how Dad was really ha happy about how cheap the rent was considering its size. Okay, if there's a really nice looking house and the rent is cheap, that's not a good sign. Oh, you see, that's the thing. I've always held to this idea. If I'm ever out looking for a house to buy or rent and, like, I'm able to find information on it being super cheap, cheap because some horrific crime was committed there or if it's or it's supposedly haunted yeah uh i'm 100 percent immediately taking that deal i'm not saving your ass well you see that's the thing if it is haunted i just have cool roommates 
And if someone died there, so what? We're living on stolen land where natives were killed constantly anyway. I'm just living in a slightly more recent grave site. <laughs> as fucked as it to is to you. say. I highly... I do not put much of any stock in the idea that the super... That supernatural entities can directly affect the physical. Fair. Wait, they're renting this? I thought they had bought it for some reason. Aren't these people rich? Yeah, that is weird. Why are they renting this? Wait, <laughs> that actually... I didn't even quite think about that. What? <laughs> <laughs> Do I just not know something about like, about like high, high upper upper class culture or like, that seems odd. Yeah. The only issues with the house oh. Emma said was that even though it's a part of this suburban property, Whitefield Groves, it looked a little a little run down. That was when the real estate agent told Dad and Mom the story. She said that the last long term residents lived here nearly a decade ago family of three the man was some kind of businessman and he used to travel a lot his wife was a housewife and he had a four-year-old girl okay i'll stretch and then hydrate also He's apparently gonna... it might have bitten my tongue because now there's a bump rubbing against my teeth and it hurts mm. oh gee also just going to guess the businessman okay. um... here, here, here's something to help you with that yeah. Fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> that was well timed. Um What was I gonna say? Um um Fuck. Um God What was I going to say? Oh. My train of thought. It's gone. Um, something to do with house. Yeah, it was like, there. it's about to tell the story. It was about the story about the family and everything. Right, right, right. Uh, my prediction is that the businessman's going to come home having made a loss and then kill his whole family. The thing is, that's such, such a constant trope. You're, you're not far off. The wife had some kind of ongoing mental disorder. Depression, I think. Some kind of psychosis. Those she, are not the same thing. She but hear... I'll, I'll let it slide because we are talking to a 12-year-old. Yeah. She would hear voices or see We're things. We're talking to a 12-year-old who's, who's, like, trying to, like, like re remember, like, mm. something, like, she was told, like, Probably like weeks to months ago. <laughs> yeah, months ago at this rate. Mm. And on top of that, obviously dealing with some blatant trauma from the freaky ass squatter slash ghost lady living in the base. Yeah. Anyway. <laughs> she was taking medication for it. At one point she began to believe that her husband no longer loved her. That he was plotting to kill her. What? Did she kill him? <laughs> <sighs> it could have been long hours al alone or maybe she was slowly descending into madness but at some point she broke and in a moment of madness she killed her daughter and herself oh, oh fuck is oh no she's the fucking squatter mm. <laughs> I love it. we're just gonna start calling the ghost the squatter yeah Anyway, I, I asked the real estate agent in which room she'd done it, and she said she didn't know. But I think I have a pretty good idea where it happened. The house I'm stayed good. vacant for a long time. Bad mojo, I guess. There are a couple of residents in between, but most stayed for a short time, then moved on. You're about to say something, Hatchet? I'm gonna, I was going to say, then this becomes pretty obvious. It's, it seems that the... The, the, the squatter is either the child or the mother. Yeah. Considering the weeping... Actually, yeah, considering all of that, I'm guessing that it's the mother. 
Yeah. Yeah. I guess they either saw something or felt uneasy. This house had been empty for almost three years before we moved in. Yeah, it's, it's definitely the mother because she called uh, the lady a woman. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Alright, right now we're learning about the lady in the basement. I heard the sounds about a week after we moved in here. First, the basement door kept opening by itself. Always when I was alone in the lo lounge. I was too scared to go near it, so I kept ignoring it. I thought it was maybe a draft. Once it opened, when Ma was with me, she just shrugged and said that the door was stiff. And so it sprang open. She said we would get it fixed. But then one day, I heard the weeping. And I could not help myself. I went to the door. I went down there and I saw her. I saw her. I had been living in terror ever since. I heard some nights, sometimes she just weeps, other times she wanders the house. Nobody believes me. Ma and Dad think I'm making it up to get them to leave here and go back to our life. I don't know what the lady in the basement wants. I don't even know what she is, but when I saw her, I sensed rage and dis such despair. I know she wanted to harm me. Even kill me if she could. But I knew at once who she was. She was the lady from the story. The story that the real estate woman who got us this house told us. That's pretty crazy. Hasn't your mom or da and dad se seen or heard anything? Well, definitely not the last one. The last one is saying this is some thinking it is still thinking it's prank. Yeah. Um. First is that's pretty crazy, and second is hasn't your mom I, and dad seen or or heard anything? Yeah, I would say second. I wonder should second we one. do a do we should we do a second playthrough of this game where we purposely try to be the biggest dicks possible? <laughs> <laughs> This, this game makes it pretty easy to be okay. an asshole. Yeah. Well, like, it, well, you're already an asshole because you already, like, went through her shit. Yeah, it's, it's It makes funny. you the asshole a bit. Like, Alright. Right. Anyway. It forces you to. to... Yeah, I feel like yeah. the only way we could have avoided becoming asshole is if instead of investigating the the basement door the first time, is if you just went upstairs to try to talk to Maya. Mm -hmm. All right. So that was an option. But All anyway, right. yeah, go ahead. No, they said they haven't. Maybe they have. Maybe they're just blocking it off or something, or explaining it any away. I'm pretty sure they haven't heard that horrible crying. You wonder how any of this is possible. Could any of this be real? Do you believe me now? Wow, we can immediately be an asshole. No, I don't. <laughs> no, I don't. You're a lying little shit. You're lying to me, child. I was. Yes. We want to say yes, I do. Oh, thank you. It's great that at least someone doesn't think I'm crazy. I've been living with this for a while now. I'm losing weight. The counselor at school thinks it's because of the move, and it changes, and the changes in my life. But I know why it is. It's hard for me to concentrate in class. I keep thinking about her, of the madness that drove her to kill her own daughter and take her own life, and I get scared. What if I go mad like that? Maybe that's what she wants. Did you try telling the counselor the truth about all this? Or I'm sorry to hear that. Also, I've been looking at the painting to see if I can try and picture an Among Us character, but I can't. What are you... What? Why? 
<laughs> I don't is know. Your, does your brain operate on nothing but <laughs> dumbass memes? <laughs> what? <laughs> why, are you, why, why are you doing that? Look for said rip. I'm sorry for you. Yeah. I, I'm guessing. Sorry to hear that. What do you think? I I would I would want to try to see if she has been able to open up about this to the therapist. Yeah. All right. I did. How do you think it went? He started yeah. talking about putting me on medications. I don't want that. I don't want to be the one of those kids, you know, a walking zombie hopped up on prescription drugs. So after that, I went with his story. Yeah, it was a change. Poor old Maya misses her old school and her friends. Look, just leave, okay? Leave this house and go. I'm, I'm stuck and I have no choice, but you do. Okay, so I will again say, uh, I think this kind of happens a lot with horror stories at this point, but it does feel as if a bit of ableism is kind of baked into the world building around this. Yeah. But besides that, I won't leave you alone. That's what we choose? Yeah. All right. I ain't leaving a kid to deal with this on their own. Yeah. That's nice of you. But it's dangerous. I can't ask you to do that. What if something happens to you? No. I am danger. <laughs> All of a sudden, I just pull out the Glock. This bitch gonna <laughs> die tonight. <laughs> you know, they said it's for... Se you know, I, I, t I tell them I, I keep it for self-defense. But actually, I've always wanted to be a little bit like the Ghostbusters. <laughs> Hell yeah, brother. We're gonna go, we're gonna go fucking caps. We're gonna just go fucking cap some asses and some ghosts. It's <laughs> just completely drunk guy wanting to go murder ghosts. Yeah. <laughs> we're gonna go cap some asses and some ghosts. <laughs> Hmm. Anyway. Nadia, the previous sitter, I think she saw something terrible down there. Sometimes I think that maybe the lady in the basement is looking for her child. My mother... Maybe mothers who hurt their children are never able to forgive themselves. Even after they die. You should go. Mom will probably blame me again, but I'll handle it. You see, if that was the case, I think your mother would be a bit more understanding. Yeah. It says, all right, if you insist, I'll leave. I told you, I'm not going to leave you here alone. I'll wait until your parents are back. Yeah, the, the second. Thank you. That's very sweet of you. And brave. I wish I was that brave. Would you mind if I go to bed now? I would like to try to sleep. I'm really exhausted. Sure. Good night. Try to get some sleep. No, you're staying up with me. We're gonna fucking hunt some ghosts, little girl. Well, you're back downstairs again. So this time we ignore it. You're gonna sit yeah. tight. You know you're doing the right thing. No matter what, it wasn't right to abandon her and flee. Not when her parents asked you to watch her. The kid that's is right, you're... after all. That's, that's, that's what you're, that's, that's what you're worried about. The yep. fact that the parents entrusted you. <laughs> not the fact that to abandon her, you would be leaving a traumatized child to deal with whatever the fuck is in the basement alone. God, I hate the player character here. <laughs> <laughs> I have to keep up appearances so I don't lose my my babysitting license. <laughs> anyway, and leaving her alone while her parents are away, especially after they entrusted her in your care, just didn't feel right. And if any of 
of it is true. The insane story of the woman in the basement. Why, you're gonna have to deal with whatever comes. Time passes. <laughs> it's getting less and less distinct. First it was ten minutes, then it was time pass, or then it was a few minutes later, and then it was just time passes. Yep. <laughs> Nothing so far. Uh, uh, I don't know. I here we go. some things. Adorna has. <laughs> <laughs> I've always told everyone that I have for self defense, but I, I, but I always wanted to be a Ghostbuster. <laughs> Footsteps from somewhere down below, from the basement. Uh oh. Basement door. That was the basement door again. We've got to see this through. You're not running away. You have to find out the truth. Hey, Hatch, Even... was, the, was the quotes in 18 correct? I think I had it correct, and I, like, had a... Sw <laughs> I moved oh, over there, oh, so I, I forgot it. I yeah. didn't notice quotes in 18. <laughs> Shadow there. immediately questions it. Let's see. I, I got to cap asses in some ghosts. <laughs> uh, no. Uh. Yeah, I think that's that's about as that's about as good as you're gonna get. Maybe Bri can go back and clip it later. Maybe. I got to. Oh wait, no. I think it was something along the lines of I got Me? to ask some caps in this in some ghosts. Something along those lines. But whatever. We get the general. Um, I don't know. I think. All right. You have to find out the truth. I got another. I, I gotta add that other one too. Ah. Anyway. <laughs> there. You have to find out the truth, even though your heart is running so hard that you, that you fear it might crash. Can any of what <laughs> Maya said be true? You fear your heart might crash. It's wide open. The sounds are coming from down there. The smell coming swafting and these up. these are definitely going in the deck. Yep. A vile <laughs> stench of corruption, of something long gone to rot. The smell is overwhelming, overpowering. It hits you like a fist. What a terrible thing walks down there. I don't even get a choice to just go away. Or shut oh, the door. Oh, come on. No, just... To, uh, uh. God damn it. First the, first the game makes you be a dickhead, and now the game wants you to die. <laughs> <laughs> I'm waiting for the jump scare. It's pitch dark. The smell, it's unbearable here. It's difficult to you think. Didn't bring a, you didn't even bring a fucking flashlight. What are you fucking doing? <laughs> you were an idiot. <laughs> and yes, yes, and, yes, now, and now, we now we die. die. That's right. Yeah, and now we die. <laughs> that, that is right. <laughs> there that, are. Th that is a hundred percent accurate, book. <laughs> well, time to, time to give give that nice child. You, you went a into the base. You went. You went into the basement where there's a ghost who could potentially kill you it's without a. a flashlight. It's it's okay. I don't need a flashlight. You, you, you're just asking for death. I don't need a flashlight. I have a Glock at you. Just stop breathing. <laughs> Do you know what right a Glock at you is? No, and I don't want to know. It's a Pikachu that has a Glock. Oh, whatever. What I was going to say is, well, <laughs> time to give this little uh, innocent child even more trauma when they have to pull the dead body of a babysitter out of the face. <laughs> <laughs> There are moldy boxes piled up at the center of the room. Oh, hello there. Hi, lady. You're not hot. Right, stop just instantly <laughs> commenting on things like that. <laughs> I said you're not hot. No, that doesn't matter. That's actually... <laughs> Oh, 
Uh, anyway. Let's not objectify the ghosts, okay? <laughs> That's a good one. <laughs> Who's there? You feel a sense of foreboding, a suffocating blackness overwhelm you. Darkness descends, clouding your mind. You cannot move, cannot even breathe. Terror grips you. A despair like anything you've ever known fills you. You sink into it, grief rising in you like a black tide. Oh, hi there. You find yourself slumped on the sofa in the lounge. Your head aches. Your hands are shaking. You spring to your feet. Hatchet? Oh. Wait, we're back to this guy. What voice did I give him? You just gave him, like, like the second grader trying to speak like, kind of voice. Yeah. Uh, uh, you're, you're up. <laughs> <laughs> when did you get back? Oh, right. Uh, <laughs> make, make it even more like a <laughs> like a seventh grader reading the script for the first time <laughs> about ten minutes ago we found you downstairs in the basement of all places you were lying on the floor passed out why did I just turn into a colonel or something <laughs> Maya told us to look for you there. When we got home, we found Maya upstairs quite shaken. She was near hysterical. She told us that she heard you scream and that you might be hurt in the basement. It took us a lot of effort to calm her down. Gee, I wonder if that might be because, you know, you've been really neglectful parents up to this point. Yeah. She kept saying it was her fault. That she should not have accepted when you insisted you stay. She says that you talked about what she calls the lady in the basement. She said you told her that you believed in her. It's shameful that you would encourage her like this. Play along with the delusions of a child. Oh, God. Well, fuck you, jackass. <sighs> you found... Oh, my God. You found... What kind of mental loopholes do you have to go through? You found your babysitter unconscious... In your basement, your daughter gave you a list of events, and then you assume somehow that you were being irresponsible as a babysitter by accepting the child's delusions, even though something clearly obviously happened to you that would lead you to get knocked out in the basement. I want to strangle this man. <laughs> Shreya will be here in a moment. She wants to talk to you before you go. Uh oh. I feel like we've got like a bad ending or something. Maybe. Goodbye. Hey. Mom won't kill me if she sees me talking to you. But I had to see you before you left. Did you see her? The lady? Did you see her? I'm gonna say yes, I did. Yeah. I knew it. I knew it. You see, I was telling the truth. Thank you for believing me. I'm so glad you're not hurt. I can't believe you stayed on despite what you knew. I know that must have taken a lot of courage. That means a lot. Maybe I can be like that, and have that kind of courage, too. 
I'm sure you can, or you're courageous already. You're courageous already. Thank you. Well, I really have to go now before Ma sees me talking to you. She'll come down hard on you. That's just the way she is. Don't feel bad. Until she sees it, too, she'll never believe. I'm sorry all this happened to you. You never asked for this. Axed. Shut your hole? <laughs> <laughs> Will you be okay? Uh. Well, I know I'm not crazy now. And you went down there and faced her. I, I'm gonna try and face my fears and be brave too. Thank you for showing me that... That me. Thank you for showing that me I can. She's still a little shook up. Give her a break. <laughs> <laughs> Bye. God, I just want to give her a hug. Yeah. Uh-oh. The big blue lady. Stop! <laughs> and Maya was I, and never was... seen or heard from again. Oh, no, Bookmer. Huh. I must say that I'm sorely disappointed. We put you in charge of looking after her. And Anon finds you lying passed out in the basement. He says you weren't drunk or on drugs, but I find that hard to believe. At least you stayed on, unlike our last sitter who left the child alone and fled. But I'm not sure I should be grateful for that considering the situation. You encouraged my daughter's sick fantasy, and you probably set back our progress with her by weeks in doing so. Daughter isn't see. I'm gonna go with the first one. Yeah, your daughter isn't lying. There really is someone or something in this house. Really? So she dragged you into our hysteria, and you believed all of it. This is exactly what her counselor warned us not to do. Since you work with children, I thought you would know better. There's nothing wrong with Maya, it's this house. Goodbye. We'll be passing on our feedback to your agency. I wonder if it would have been better if you had said, I don't know, I feel like I definitely saw something. Right. Well, that didn't go as you planned. You've been sh shown out rather unceremoniously. Miss Raj was clearly furious, so was Dr. Raj, but what Maya said, what you saw in there, that sense of abject despair that washed over you in the dark. As you leave, you turn to look at the house. You think of all that happened. And you wonder. One week later. End. End. Wait, did you, did you actually, like, have a chance to look at what that was? No. Did you just click it? No. Uh. Well, that's it of the babysitter. There has to be multiple endings. Probably. So we gotta I'll, try that again. Did, I'll look it up to see if there thing. is. I'll look to see if there is. No, the game is really... I think it was only made, like, a week ago. Like, finished made. So, mm. it could only have mm. one ending at the moment. It... I mean, given the... I mean, we can still try. Yeah. I, I'll so look it up before we do. Like, if there actually is. Yeah. I won't say how to get it. I'll just say... That, that, see if there yeah, is one. Yeah, see if there... Yeah. I mean, I can just go look. Oh, the babysitter by Crooks Game Studios, because there's multiple babysitter games. And Crooks is spelled C R U X. C R U X. Oh, Bookham said it was just a babysitter request for the same house. Ah. Uh -huh. Does that mean they actually mm -hmm. fucking listen to their daughter? Nope. They were just getting a new babysitter. Uh. 
It's been held. Uh, the curtains have closed. They were just wanting a new babysitter that wasn't you. Got it. Yeah. Let's see. Just more fresh meat for the lady in the basement. <laughs> Let's see. Does it say anything? I'm looking at their itchy itchio page. Uh. It, 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 okay, my question is: Imagine if they get like to twenty babysitters who see it and like literally tell them, like, and then they're they're. I'm like, maybe the problem isn't your child and it's you, cunt. Yeah. More information. Like. Oh uh, yeah, Bookworm, what do you think about my new overlay stuff? Story bitch. I didn't ask so. Oh yeah, the over overlays look nice. Yeah. I, I really love my chat box though. I really love the chat box. I didn't have it on the game because it's too big. I mean, I'm sure you can shrink it. Well, yeah, but the writing, uh, the re the the words can really hard to to read on stream, like uh, on the stream. But like in chat, I can see chat perfectly on stream. The size I have it at is the, the smallest you can put. The bit it looks nice. It all looks great. Yeah, worth the five hundred dollars. Okay, here we've got a. Got a reply or a comment mm -hmm. on the game. Uh, where where did? Well, it also didn't say like ending one of whatever. Uh, let's see. I told you I would do it before. Yeah, did you see the other two though? Bookworm? <laughs> Iron hole. Oh. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you for the bits, book corner. Let's see. I don't need let's see uh ba -ba -da -ba. <clears throat> Yeah, so, um, in replies on their itch.io, the game studio says, uh, as for your question about the endings, without giving away spoilers, we can say that, although the fundamental outcome is similar, major choices do influence the way events play out in the third act. So, there will be, basically, we can play it again to see different, uh, ways that the third act pays out uh i feel like one of them is just that i just book it well yeah obviously i i still i still think that the only way you could have avoided like as from what we can tell the only way you could have avoided being an asshole at any point is by like at the first instant of the door going ajar you immediately go upstairs and talk to her. Yeah. Oh, wait. Has anyone seen my Twitch about area? Where you could see all the sound alerts and everything? Because apparently with my overlays, they sent me uh, 
cool little things to put in my Twitch about area. Oh, if nice. You like this. Yeah, you like that? Rolls. Nothing racist. <laughs> That's been Rolls. there for a while. Nothing racist. Also, if you look in the fact thing, uh, I forgot to put one thing at the start of my channel <laughs> that I put in now. The f the the what thing? The fact fact or or F A Q. F, F A Q. Let's see, icon art. What uh? What's the new thing you added? Due to me being an SB channel, please look at the below and you'll see it. Oh yeah. Yeah, that has to be there. <laughs> For obvious reasons. But yeah, like... I got cool little... Panel stuff. Let's see. Yeah, as for the panels, hold on, I can... Alright, let's go to the panel. They got... The About Me, Discord, Donation, Facebook... FAQ, uh, follow, Insta, rules, schedule, yeah. share, specs, Twitter, Twitch, Twitter, and YouTube were all panel stuff that they gave me to use. Now you can just click down here. Let's see. Oh, wait, I, I lost a follower. What? How yeah. dare! I'm at no longer at 86, I'm 85 now. <sighs> You're aging backwards. <laughs> but yeah. Oh, you added the fire in the hole! Yeah, I did. I am a toaster. There's also one other one that's ex more expensive than the other two. Uh, uh, let me press X here. Oh, is it, hey, blank, give us a sign? Yeah, that's like with the hey, jury, hey, Aderna. Mm, yeah. <laughs> you know what? I'm feeling generous. If anyone wants to listen into a stream for a quick moment. Okay, listening. Yeah, listening. All right. Aderna, give us a sign. Is Jerry gay? <laughs> hey! Jerry is 100% gay. I'm never what? <laughs> Jerry, give us a sign. Are you gay? <laughs> you already know the answer to that! Aderna, tell us. Does Jerry have husbands? <laughs> what? Aderna, how many huns does Jerry have? <laughs> What's going on? What is <laughs> you change that so people can't count them? Aderna, give us a sign if Jerry has husbandos. Did you? What the <laughs> fuck did you just say, and how did you pronounce it that Hus offended me? Husbandos. I, 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 I stuttered offended. on it. I, stuttered I think on it's a bit too us. long. <laughs> As I a know sound what alert. Husbandos are. What the fuck is husbandos? I don't know. Yeah. Oh well. Is it a panda that you married? <laughs> yeah, I I would suggest you just like I was talking about make it just like pandas. one specific instant. No, I was. There. Uh, like, Jerry, you know how there's wife foods? Jerry, give us a sign. Yeah. Are you gay? Is, wait, no, a dirt. Like just that part. Oh, oh idiot. But it's uh, also Adirna. thirty. Uh, three thousand bits. Tell so I think it's Jerry worth it. Has male yeah. Wife okay. Foods. Yeah. That's fair. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Bookworm. <laughs> <laughs> thirty dollars hatchet. Oh shit, that's right. I don't know. I look. Do I look like someone who knows like the 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 fucking conversion rate of bits to USD? <laughs> anyway, uh, bookworm, set up your last words.
I, I swear, if Bookworm actually buys it. <laughs> and we just hear it a second time. Adurna, give us a sign. It's Jerry K. <laughs> They're not even here. Oh, I'm here. Alright. Look one says, okay, my last words will be stir. I am a toaster. 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 Uh, yes, the toaster. <laughs> During our last words, go. Hmm. Follow, subscribe, raise a bird, uh, I am a toaster, and, um, golem is gay. It's trans, fuck. Gay works too. <laughs> he's just a gay. He's just a gay trans girl. She's just a gay trans girl. So. Flesh plant. Flesh plant. Flesh plant. Bone the flesh plant. Alright. Hatchet. Last words. Go. And remember, kids. If you move to, to like a big house and you see a creepy lady in your basement and you go to tell your parents that there's a creepy lady in the basement and they start doing like, and they start, you know, like gaslighting you and treating you like you're crazy. Fuck them. Fuck them. Wait, that could be taken wrong. Yeah, shit. <laughs> Wait, no. No, don't fuck them, but fuck them. As in they're bad, fuck them. Not the good, fuck them. <laughs> the not, the not. Because houses are money pits to them. <laughs> the non-sexual kind. The non-sexual, fuck them. Yeah. Don't fuck your parents. Wait. Right. Everyone ready for my no, last yeah, that words? Is the right way. Fuck you. <laughs> All right. If you go in a house that has a ghost in it, make sure you bring your fuck buddy six ten. They'll deal with it. What did you say? <laughs> make sure you bring your what? Fuck a buddy six ten. Can you guys hear me? Yeah, stream's about to yeah. end though. Yeah. Yeah. I know. I, I, ha I, ha I had to eat, and then I came back from eat. Ah. How are we? What a nice combination of the mm -hmm. two games. <laughs> yeah, we got a game where, uh, where, where we uh, fuck animal plant things and a game where <laughs> we're a bad babysitter and the parents of the child are neglectful and treat her like she's insane mm -hmm. well, a then. wonderful combination um, what the fuck is happening here anyway uh mm -hmm. i hope you d class enjoyed I hope to see you guys next time for your next experiment. Yeah.